Okay, hello, are we live? I think we are live. So, okay, welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. Last time, we got our butts kicked repeatedly by the evil alternate universe version of Micaiah. <coughs> Sorry. And <clears throat> this time, this time we're going to have our, um, the greatest evil ever faced by high school students. Exams when you haven't studied. So, yeah. We have exams coming up. I'm pretty sure that, uh... Akihiko doesn't join until after exams. So... Oh, I can't believe I've missed... I, I still love this song so much, but, uh, yeah. A and yes, everyone's been waiting for this. Why is there an exclamation mark at Polonia Mall? Huh. Is that just Elizabeth requests, or is there... someone here? Because I know I haven't unlocked Tanaka yet, because you need to, um... You know, uh, yes, fears awake, face reality. Um, you need to have progressed Hermit in order to unlock that. But, uh, yeah, okay, the monk's definitely not here yet. Uh, I actually have found out recently that apparently some of the web URLs you can buy in the club are very overpowered. So I might want to go ahead and try and, uh, try and read some of that. But, uh, okay then. Uh, I guess at this time of night, let's see if there is... Any games we can play in the arcade? Uh... Oh, okay, I got, I got, uh, Charm. Let's go for Charm. Phone notifications, oh, okay. Elizabeth Quest, yeah, that makes sense. Wow, that girl looks very smug. I'm guessing the animation is always the same, but it's kind of, it is kind of funny. Oh yeah, we, we were at level 2 Charm. The legendary being known as Dummy is, uh, what happens when you try and loot a chest with Volk in Radiant Dawn and you don't have enough, um, not Volk, um, yeah. In Radiant Dawn and you don't have enough money. Yo! Oh, okay! This might be the start of the Link events. And I think Junpei's are actually- yes, Link episodes! Yeah, here we go. Okay, interesting. By accepting these invitations and spending time with your friends, you can deepen your bonds with them outside of the social link. Accept one invite could very well lead to the next. Yeah, so from what I've heard, if you miss one of these, you lose, like, all of them. It's like the Elizabeth dates. And let's just say, I did look this up, this is very, very important for Junpei. Very important for Junpei specifically. If you played this game already, or at least if you played the original, you will probably know why. But if you haven't, it won't make any sense to you just yet. Well, as I've played the original, I know that the reprieve from Apathy Syndrome is just a temporary respite after beating a shadow. Yes, yeah, so let's hope nothing like that happens. Well, I mean, yeah, nothing will happen until midterms are over. Oh, okay, it's good that they're telling you about this. Yeah, I, I highly doubt I'm going to get top 10 in the grade. Yeah, but let's give it everything we've got. It's bonding time! I don't even like Dungan Romper, but I still... Oh, you have something new to say. Okay, library is for studying. Apparently there's also food. That can increase academics. Yeah, it's funny how everyone's talking about uh, studying and stuff. Well, guess what? Today we're not going to study, because hanging out with Junpei is the most important thing in the entire world. And I wonder if these are fully voiced. I guess we'll find out. I was wondering, you think we could pick up some new moves from these fighting games? Oh my god, wow, I can't believe I'm getting this link event right after I posted. So um if you look at the community post on my channel, I kind of had a bit of weird fanfiction brain rot and wrote something. And yeah, it's kind of relevant to this. Can you imagine if we had like a super badass special attack? Oh don't worry, you'll get one of those eventually. I feel I've heard Theurgy doesn't unlock for a little while longer, though. Dude, right? 
Oh, you can't 100% the compendium unless you finish every Link episode? That's interesting. And besides, our power's gotta come from the heart, right? That's why I think comics and games will give us a little inspiration. <laughs> Seeing those heroes in action pumps me up and helps me picture my fights better, know what I mean? Yeah, this was an aspect of Junpei's character that was pretty apparent in the original, but I like that it's being made more explicit here. Maybe someday, someone will make a game about our adventure. Ah, <laughs> uh, fourth wall breaks. Fourth wall breaks. I mean, we have gone around saving people, like at the monorail. Sometimes a good fourth wall break is pretty nice, as long as they don't go too over the top with it. We kicked ass on that one, didn't we? I still really like the monorail fight. Like, that whole full moon is one of my favorites. Junpei, like, it's almost like Junpei is aware of how the game actually played out because you were the one who, who killed the boss. And it was a comeback. Oh, I'd say you really stole most of the show. I admit, it wasn't on my game before. Next time, I'm totally gonna knock it out of the park. Oh, I'm guessing that maxing all the Link episodes is now a requirement for Orpheus Telos, just like the social links. Uh, someone's Kingdom Hearts 3 disc is malfunctioning. That reminds me, my my Path of Radiance disc still skips with the cutscenes. And I've tried it on two different Wiis, and it must be the disc because it's failed on both of them. <laughs> I'm stealing the spotlight next time. You know, I really do want to do my best. Oh, wait! You get a persona for completing all five Link events for a character? Then that's just like, uh, Devil Survivor 2. Mission? In fact, I believe they were called Link events in Devil Survivor 2 as well. I got a lot of good things going. I've been really waiting for something. Like I remember Titania was the reward for maxing out Eo, and Lucifer was the reward for maxing out the Anguish one. And Titania is ridiculous in Devil Survivor because you can make her immune to everything. I feel like my life's finally starting to go somewhere. I don't plan on letting you get the best of me just yet. You hear? If you go screwing around, I might just have to take over as leader. Oh, it's Fate. It's called Fate and Devil Survivor 2. That makes sense. <laughs> oh, well, let's quit yapping and play some games. Our next enemy can wait. You and me are throwing down for the whole enchilada. Oh, yeah? Your funeral, buddy. I cannot believe how accurate I got that fanfic. Yeah. I... <laughs> And yeah, I still I still main Junpei in uh, uh, Ultimax, just because he's my favorite Persona 3 character, even though he's really hard to use in that game. Yes, Junpei is leader. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, Titania and Purple Mirror, um, they're demons you can make immune to everything in Devil Survivor 2, and it's really funny. Okay, there we go. There's, there's the stuff I bought from uh, Tanaka. Devil Survivor's pretty good. It's basically Shin Megami Tensei plus Fire Emblem, except for real this time. Also, Devil Survivor 1 has, like, the best lore and chaos writing in the whole series. Devil Survivor 2's story isn't quite as good, but its characters are nice. Okay, can't go to Tartarus today. So yeah, we're probably not going to be going to Tartarus with all of the studying going on. Yep, we're going to worry about exams later. Yeah, it does suck about physical and digital media. Oh, so something kind of hilarious is that I found an, 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 an old magazine when cleaning out my grandfather's stuff. It was a magazine uh, called Gramophone, and the issue was talking about how amazing CDs are, and how they are the future, and how they will never, ever lose their data. Ever. So I kept that magazine because it's hilarious. Of course, nothing is, uh, is interesting on the TV. And SP drinks are back. 
we had to sacrifice one of them to the little girl. So, um, yeah, we're going to restore that. I've heard of Digimon Survive. I don't think I'd be particularly interested in Digimon Survive personally. But it is kind of cool that Digimon does, like, uh, it... Mm, it does interesting things with its, like, games. It's a little bit more varied than Pokemon. Yeah, these site notes. Are these free to look up? I guess I'll find out. Junpei is the cypher slacker. <laughs> Let me see what this URL leads to. Top 10 sentences said seconds before disaster when you're on the internet. You? Wait, secret about the vending machine? We must check this out. We must. We must find all the vending machine knowledge. When are they gonna fix that vending machine? Lol. Wait, what's this secret? You can actually still buy drinks that are marked as sold out. The machine is broken, so there's drinks marked sold out when it's not. Just press the button. I recommend four biotic pack. Huh. Vending machine in front of Iwatorai Station. Interesting. That vending machine is a portal to the drink dimension. Yeah, I bought Devil Survivor 1 and 2 before the 3DS eShop closed. I did the exact same thing. Actually, no, I'd, I'd owned Devil Survivor 2 for a while, but uh, I bought one before the eShop closed. Hey, listen. Me too, also your Navi. Blah, 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 library, blah. The problem is we can only go to the library during the day, and that means precious social link time is gone. Okay. Prodigy Platter at Wakatsu. Good to know. Yeah, I hope Persona 6 focuses on social media too. Like, I, I honestly, I have kind of an idea about social media, uh, media in terms of Persona right, 6. But, um, yeah, like, I had an idea. Yeah, I'm aiming for max social links. I'm not following a guide, though. Uh, but I'm aiming for it. I just want to wing it and see how far I get. Then... Leon for... Okay, I'm not good at French. French uh, physicist who performed experiments around the rotation of the Earth. What tool did he use? Okay. Hourglass Pendulum Planisphere. Again, no help from the audience on these, even though my chat is very delayed. Uh, but... Uh... Rotation of the Earth. I don't know what a planisphere is, and I feel like if I look this up, I might... I might, like, it might spoil it. Uh... Maybe a pendulum? You got it. Hey, I was right, okay. Yeah, I vaguely recall this. Like, I, I know I did some experiments in, in high school regarding pendulums. I believe this is still charm, not academics. Yeah, it's still charm. Yeah, I want a Persona game where the cognitive world is the internet, and, like, the villains are, like, people who let their online persona and anonymity, like, sort of consume them, and they're just people who are, you know are completely, um, just engrossed in it. Because, like, the idea of, like, the fact that a persona is not always good, just as a shadow is not always bad, I'd like to see that explored, like somebody who's been consumed by their persona, because really the only people in canon who had that were Namatame in P4 and Maruki in P5. So, yeah, you want to study, however, are there any social links available? The answer is yes, therefore we're not allowed to study. However, okay. Planisphere is a type of star chart, huh? Yeah, only non-school social links and Nozomi, because no one at school cares about him, are available. And I kind of want to just go to, you know, the, the old couple. Because, like, yeah, I... I have this idea. I'm thinking that I should probably focus down uh, Kenji and the old couple and get them done as soon as possible. Before I really go into... Oh, I remember this. I asked my mum for a cat for a while before she gave me one. Um, but anyway. Um... 
Uh, yeah. Anyway, I still think Metaphor Refantasio is essentially Persona 6. It's gonna be Persona 6. Now, is this where that vending machine was? Yes, your cousin Blilda, who overshined you in every single way. Yeah, I know it's gonna be a while. I, I know that I like streaming once a week is kind of gonna mean that I get through this game pretty slowly, but I am okay taking my time. Three types of drinks that are currently listed as sold out. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, they're recommended for by like 10 SP to all party members. Okay. Happiness water. Okay, so I'm guessing that it's just like... Yeah, it's not like you can buy things that are out of stock. It's just like <laughs> definitely lemonade. Uh, but yeah, it, it just gives you more drinks to buy. But hey, more SP drinks! I can't believe that I lucked out and, and got that as my first URL. Um, just totally blind. I've always liked that moon on this train station. Uh, I don't know if Metaphor will ever cross over with everything, but it would be kind of cool. We might grow closer soon. Let's spend time with old people. Yes, it would be a metaphorical Persona 6. Yeah, like if I ever ran oh, we were just talking about you. a Persona themed like tabletop RPG, I'd probably make like the first dungeon like online discourse or something like that. We've been feeling a bit guilty for troubling you about the persimmon tree. Oh, good one. I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> Glad you can joke around even at a time like this. Why, 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 why does everyone like puns? Makes me feel like we're not so different, you and I. Lord knows I can't pass up a good pun. We're not so different. Let the puns consume you. That persimmon tree is, is a reminder of our son. Actually, before his death, he was a teacher at GeckoCon. Yeah, I'm remembering this now. He planted that tree on graduation day with the students of his very first class. Just when we thought that tree was about to bear fruit. Watching a Persona uh, 3 portable drama CD that made you uh, hate Kenji even more. I thought it said made you like Kenji. Uh, I was gonna, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm all for Kenji actually getting redeemed somehow. I know. Why do they want to cut it down now? Thank you. Yeah, it's alright coming from him at least. I'm alright now. That made me feel a lot better. It's very comforting talking to you. Oh wow! You've really gone and captured my wife's heart. Does that count as a Gary Stu scores moment? You must be popular with the ladies. <laughs> My wife's no sucker after all. <laughs> oh boy, he is. I feel I'm looking at myself when I was in my prime. No, none of the social links in the original had voice acting. Uh, hey, Theo. So where are we at now? Five? Yeah, five. Don't fret too much about the tree. Just stop by when you have the chance. Oh, and take this. It's left over from earlier, but it's still good. Yeah, I do like how the socialings deal with grief in different connotations. Something that I've actually heard as well said is that, like, the social links in P3 are more focused on their character's flaws. Well then, you take care of yourself. Oh yeah, Kenji with Ryo. So I like to think that Ryo is still canon in the male p protagonist timeline, and that her and Kenji eventually do get together, but it probably takes a while. Welcome back. Um, let's think about it. I, I get the feeling, I seem to remember that when you finish exams, Akihiko rejoins, and then I want to go to Tartarus. Yeah, the ranks are zooming by for old couple because it's a fairly easy social link and it's available most of the week. 
Yeah, I guess it's true that missing one day of studying probably won't change our results much. Yukari, this is exactly the mentality that leads to uh, Persona 5's mementos and like Yaldabao. So bear with me for a second. It's that whole mentality of like, okay, if I don't do anything today, it's fine. I can do it another day. And then you don't do it another day, and then another day, and then eventually you just do nothing, and then your life doesn't change. <laughs> yes, Junpei's mind is infecting you. Let the Junpei... Yes, corrupt your mind. <laughs> don't say change of pace, please. Because I'll reference Sonic again. Yeah, I agree with Akihiko here. Like, I like I don't like all-nighters. I feel like it's not worth it to tire yourself out that much. You'll just end up doing worse. Wait, what? Left gauze in a patient's stomach? Oh no. Oh no. Well, at least there was an actual settlement. Uh, who's available? Okay, just games. Yesterday you said tomorrow, so just do it. Yeah. I haven't even seen that video. Yeah, all-nighters, I, I don't think it's worth it, really. Especially if you're using energy drinks to, um... Uh... Yeah. Oh, someone really wants to do a Shinji cosplay? Um, that would be cool, honestly. Yeah, I would, I would kind of like to see that. I, I, I think I may have mentioned this before, but like, uh, I've always wanted to cosplay Eagle from Advance Wars, if I ever cosplayed anyone, but I just don't know how I'd get like a good quality good jacket day. for that. I'd probably need to slick my hair back as well. Here are my requests. Uh, there's nothing new here, right? No, I don't think there's anything new. Yes, I, d I remember that we need to uh, use the fashion, not fashion, use the fortune telling of the fashion horse in order to fulfill one of her requests, but uh, yeah. Oh right, it's a, uh, it's a Chagall part-time job night. I miss Tuesday, uh, but that's fine. I still just like absolutely, I, Caligo Night is so good. I feel like this song was always in the original. Welcome to the week before exams, where we raise everything except academics, and see how badly we do. Yeah, they are selling Shinjiro's beanie, so that is a thing. I mean, admittedly, Kiran from Fire Emblem Heroes is pretty easy to cosplay because you don't see their face, you just need a cloak. Ah, the haunting of Gekokan. We're starting this subplot now. We all know where this leads to if you played the original. And I love how this becomes a real ghost story in Persona 4. Seriously? Beware. Beware the ghost who talks about multiple weaknesses. Yeah, no, I like how they handle the party member quest as well. I, I did always used to leave essays till last minute in, um, uh, yeah, in high school and stuff. Oh, the beanie is sold out. Yeah. I really wish that, um, okay, so apparently the weird medicine's available today, but also, oh, they're not ready to rank up. Okay. Nozomi is, are you serious? Uh... But, uh, yes, indeed, the haunting of the not terrible voice anymore. I'm really looking forward to Fuka in this version, because, like, she's gonna, like, she's actually gonna be really, really good now that she has actually good voice acting. Oh no, Mitsuru Simp is talking to someone. Okay, this right here, I believe, is also hinting at something else. Do I check nurse's office or do I focus on... I'm, I'm curious as to how the nurse's office actually works. 
So, uh, I feel kind of bad about this, but let's do this. Playing Neo World Ends with you. I, ah, uh, <laughs> I was, it's weird. I was kind of at a bad time in my life when I was playing uh, Neo The World Ends with you. I need to go back and replay it because I feel like I might've actually enjoyed it more if I'd played it at a better time. Cause it's, it's actually really good. I was also forcing myself through the higher difficulties for the pin drops, and I don't think that was a good idea. All right, all right. Oh, okay. Oh, so interesting. Okay. So tiredness is kind of still a thing. You just need to... It just doesn't, like, debilitate you anymore. You just need to... You just um, have to go there after going to Tartarus. That makes sense. Okay, so now I need to remember that, but, um... Yeah, um, when you're playing the game Nozomi or someone else, the correct answer is always someone else. Even though this is just to spend time. So, um, if I'm remembering correctly, this could actually be wrong, but if I'm remembering correctly, um, is Fuka's new voice, um, uh, Risha? From... Uh, from... Trails? Relationship will grow stronger soon. Yes, okay. Good. Yeah, uh, that's also the problem with doing Tartarus on Saturdays, because it's, it's not a school day the next day. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I... The, it, it, it... This is one of the biggest slight annoyances of Persona 3, your party members telling you to go to Tartarus all the time. Oh yes, I was right about Fuka's new voice, good. Yeah. Yeah, I like- I do think that Edogawa is Philemon. Like, he's definitely Philemon in human form. Oh yeah, and she's also Yuffie in the Final Fantasy VII Remake. And in Chainsaw Man, which is the only reason why I know about Chainsaw Man is apparently that that's Dr. Eggman's favourite anime, according to the Sonic Twitter takeovers. Yeah, Tartarus on Sundays. Maybe I could move it to Sundays. It's just that on Sundays you can do Hermit. So, yeah. Like, this is the funny thing about Yuffie is, I actually don't have much experience with y how Yuffie was in the original FF7. Uh, because, like, I only know Yuffie from Kingdom Hearts, where I think she's very different. So it's just, it's, it's, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Like, I, I know she's still, like, she steals your materia at one point. Um, yes, really. Um, also, Shadow's favorite anime is, um... Uh, is uh, Kill La Kill, because that's like a meme reference, and um, uh, Sonic's favourite anime is Sonic X, because of course it is. Uh, I guess I can do more dating sims? Can't you do her- oh yeah, you can do Hermit and Tartarus in one day now, because Hermit doesn't take up the whole day, that's a good point. Yeah, Yuffie was a secret character in Final Fantasy VII. Um, like, that that was sort of a weird thing. Like, Final Fantasy VII... Like, Final Fantasy VII has, like, Yuffie and then Vincent. Like, I have no idea who they're... Uh, Cream's never been on a Sonic Twitter takeover, so we don't know what her favourite anime is. Um, I believe Amy's is, um... It was one of those... I think it was, like, Fruits Basket or something. Something like that. Uh, kn Knuckles is... No. Is Tails One Punch Man? It's either Tails or Knuckles who's... No, Knuckles is One Punch Man, Tails is My Hero Academia. This is all canon, by the way. Yes, I know Mitsuru, you'll give me a little something. Unfortunately, I'm not a Mitsuru waifuist, so I don't care. Yeah, I guess we are lacking in manpower. We could have more wo woman power if you chose to join us, hint hints. If only we could find a navigator to replace you. So that's why. Oh hey, it's you. Uh I'm guessing this is English.
Nay sickness, I've heard of this. Well then. Yeah, Cream's probably is some kind of magical girl show, although it would be really funny if it was something darker. I don't know what Mitsuru gives you. What the, what's the other name for Nay sickness? Uh, May Days, May Blue. Mm. Hmm. I want to say May Blues? Fantastic. Hey, there we go. Still only got one question wrong so far. Just totally winging it. Yeah, the Shadow Will You Marry Me moment was pretty hilarious. Yeah, it could be Madoka Magic of a both, yeah. Yeah, I can I can totally understand that. Yeah, Moody Blues being an option is kind of hilarious. Uh I love how everyone has decided that Cream's favorite anime is Madoka Magic. <laughs> like maybe she watched it thinking that it was really wholesome, then found out what it actually was, but liked it anyway. Okay. Uh Oh yeah, May Blues is a crossword puzzle answer in P5. That must be where I recognize it from. Uh, okay. But, right, um, I know this might seem kind of boring that I'm just doing Bunkichi and Mitsuko social link all the time, but it's like, it's before exams, they're kind of like the only one available. I just feel like I want to blitz the ones that I've started early, to sort of get them out of the way, again, like I said. Because I know I don't need to worry about, um, you know, um... I don't need to worry about... So, in the original guide, they blitz Chihiro, but that's only because of Jealousy, and because Jealousy's not a thing anymore, I don't think I need to worry about blitzing Chihiro yet. Oh boy, Silver's favourite anime would be interesting. I'm kind of wondering what his favourite anime would be. I get the feeling Silver might like Evangelion. I don't know why, that was just the first thing that came to mind. I understand their reasoning. But if, if they really go through with this, if we lose that tree, it would be like losing our son all over again. Yeah, we don't have access to um, our car's um, chariot during this because the club doesn't meet before exams. I seem to remember Please Don't Fight being the correct option here. Like, there are just some, We're like... Fighting. We're not fighting, I was There are... Fussing. There are just some, like, answers that I remember very distinctly from the guide. Sorry for making you worry. The guide you use blitzed Moon? Gee, I wonder why that guy wanted to get Moon out of the way so quickly. Apparently the rumor about cutting down the persimmon tree was true. So we went to the school together to say our goodbyes. Unfortunately, that just reminded my dear of the pain we felt the day our son died. I seem to remember this is this is the best option too. See, dear, that's exactly what I said. If you keep crying all the time, then what'll your admirers think? Uh yeah, I kind of see your point there, Shadowcoin, about Evangelion being too depressing for Silver, and he'd probably like Gurren Lag none. Right? You're not even doing Moon or Devil in your playthrough. Moon, I can see. Devil's pretty decent though, and Devil doesn't really time conflict with anything else at all. Oh my, don't make fun of this wrinkled old lady. Maybe I chose the wrong option there. Left Moon at rank 9 for 5 months, that's also kind of fitting. He got Nozomi to 9 in like June and just ignored till January. Right. Yeah, I mean, I can see that. My wife would always be happy to see such a handsome young man. See, like, it's lines like this that are why I kind of headcanon the Persona 3 protagonist as a Casanova, because everyone acts like he is one. Take this for when you get hungry. Fried bread. Oh yeah, Devil does cost a whole bunch of money to start, doesn't it? I still think Chihaya in Persona 5 is way worse, though. Because she requires a mementos mission and like a massive amount of yen, which you don't get back until way later. Welcome back. Um. Okay. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not opposed to studying with Mitsuru. Although I feel like studying with Mitsuru would be kind of horrifying. 
Starting with your peers. There we go. Collaborative cram session can raise your academics. Yeah, Tanaka is canonically the strongest Persona character. The reason why is a bit of a spoiler, though, for now. A significantly big spoiler. But yes, paying Tanaka skips the final boss in FES. He only needs four payments of one of ten thousand. Uh yeah, let's let's do a study session. Sorry, Mitsuru. I'm almost done. Yeah, I get the feeling studying with Mitsuru would be horrifying. Well, you know how it is. Akihiko, are you feeling unwell? You seem to be short of breath. Uh, someone saying Shinjiro gets really concerned when Ken acts recklessly. Um, maybe kind of ease up on talking about Shinjiro and Ken because that's for way later, and that might get into spoiler territory. I'll be fine. More importantly, why don't you help his studies? Yeah, I can't believe I didn't find out about that Tanaka glitch until way later on. I, I just, I, I, I wish I knew about that during the Let's Play. I really wish I did. He ended up in the hospital right after transferring. Might need some help to make up for the class time he's missed. Especially since that scene of Yukari giving you study notes uh, was cut from the final game. You do have a point. Oh boy, could Tanaka solo the Demi Fiend? That's the real question. I still think. Here. These are my notes from last year. You can use them. The Demi Fiend is like a candidate for maybe canonically most powerful JRPG character of all time. One of them at least. But I still don't think he could beat Blilda. I don't think the content of the class has changed much since then. Oh, you don't think the content of the class has changed much since then? Oh boy, wow, yeah. They, in my life, they changed a lot between school years. Uh, could someone explain the glitch? Okay, so essentially, um, if you start the devil social link on the final day before the final boss in the original Persona 3, it skips to the next day, and therefore you skip the final boss. Flattery will get you nowhere. That sounds like like I'm exaggerating or lying. I'm not. But I suppose I am rather particular about my note taking. In class, I listen closely and write down bullet points. Then I organize them later into a more readable format. Oh my god, Mitsuru studies exactly the same way I do. That's interesting. It's a bit time consuming, but I find it's overall a more efficient way of reviewing the material. Yeah, the Shin Megami Tensei 2 protagonist is also pretty strong, and the SMT 5 one is basically a god. If you plan your day to day tasks effectively, test preparation is as good as done. Yeah, so Tanaka essentially uses Fat Stack Slap from Like a Dragon on the final boss. You seem to have a knack for this. I'll teach you more of my study techniques next time. Yeah, I believe most speedruns use the Tanaka final boss skip, by the way, so look up a speedrun if you want to see it. Mitsuru's right. Efficiency is key. We're all given the same amount of time. It's up. Indeed. Not even a second of time should be wasted. On that note, shall we return to studying? And then we all died. Yay, we got our first ever point of academics in this entire playthrough. Uh. All right, done. Huh? Akihiko, you're drenched in sweat and heavy breathing. Are you sure you're... Persona 3 lines to take out of context. <sighs> I'm fine. I've just been squatting over my chair this whole time. Wanted to challenge myself to hold it until I was done with your notes. Oh god, um, um, how long is the Persona 3 speedrun? Um, could someone look that up on speedrun.com? I want to say it's like four, I know that Persona 4 is like 12 hours. Breaking out while studying is quite an efficient use of my time. What do you say? Why are you like I thought I told you not to push yourself until you fully recovered. If you take efficiency too far, it'll backfire. Don't follow his example. Akihiko straight up wasn't sitting in the whole cutscene until now? That's a nice touch. Well then, I think we've made a fair amount of progress. Let's call it a night. 19 hours, 30 minutes. Really? Like, is that actually, like, true? 
for Fess? Oh, wow. Yeah, um, so the funny thing is, I'm crazy. Um, I actually watch Nocturne speedruns. Like, just, just casually. Like, I, I've watched 12-hour Nocturne speedruns. I watch SMT4 Apocalypse speedruns. SMT4 Apocalypse speedruns are really fun, in my opinion. Yeah, no, oh my god, 19 hours seriously is world record. And that's not even for, um, uh, yeah. Um, like, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, final boss skip is its own category? That makes sense. Yeah. Also, I recently found out, I think I called this teacher a woman before, I think they're actually male. Sextillion. Uh. Silly sounding number identifiers. Yeah, so I think that might be one of the longest speedruns I've ever heard of. Aside from Final Fantasy XII Order of Ambrosia, which is essentially 100%. I don't think it's a hot take to say SMT4 is is uh, underrated in terms of gameplay. Like, it's honestly, like, most people really like its gameplay. Like, SMT4 Apocalypse is a Oh, it is female? Okay, right, sorry, whoops, I must have missed the misses. Sorry, sorry about that. Uh, do I want courage or no, I'm gonna stay away. Huh? Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, misses. Miz, yep. Was not looking at the name tag. I should do that more often. But yeah, what I was saying is, like, Final Fantasy XII Order of Ambrosia um, is, uh, like, essentially 100%. It requires all the rare game, uh, all the hunt marks, which includes, uh, and also Yasmat, who is, um, you know, um, that. Which, speaking of which, um, in, a sp in an optimized speedrun of Digital Devil Saga, did you know that in an optimized speedrun, of Digital Devil Saga, the Demi Fiend still takes an hour. That should tell you something. Yeah, uh, yeah, there is Barton Kaitos. The thing about Barton Kaitos is the only reason why. Um, oh wow, her VA is um, uh, Ignatz. Barton Kaitos uh, is such a long speed run. Oh no, did my thing freeze again? Oh, I think I froze again. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I'm back. I'm back. Okay, I'm back. Okay, good. Phew. Had a freak out for a second, but we should be okay-ish now. Um, but what I was saying was the reason why Barton Kaitos is such a long speedrun is because there's one specific item that takes like a few weeks of real time to evolve. There's whole FAQs talking about it. It's kind of funny. Uh, Absolute Virtue in FF11, from what I've heard, was not supposed to be beatable. Like, and that they patched it when people real when people found out a way to do it. She's an emotional woman, bless her heart. She's been like this since the day we met. You see, all the graduates from my son's class have come together. They're collecting signatures to save the persimmon tree. They say the tree is a memorial to their former teacher. They don't want it to be cut down. Yeah, the, the funny thing about the Baden Kaidos thing is, from what I've read of the notes, like, it's not like a, like, a, just waiting. You actually do have to play well and, like, optimize the menus and all that, in addition to all of the real-life wait time. It was the same for our son's funeral. Many of them showed up for it. It's been so many years since then, but... They still remember him. They've given their precious time for our son. I, I don't know what to say. I I'm so grateful. You must be the one who called on them for this, right? Uh. 
Do we lie about this? I forget if that's the one that gives the most points. Uh, I'm gonna lie. Yeah, I've never done yes, Matt. I knew it. I knew it from the very beginning. From the first time I saw you, I knew you were different from the other kids around here. Quite literally, it's the only speedrun you schedule sleep time for. I've I've heard there's a Digimon speedrun that's almost as long. You're a samurai. A modern day samurai. Don't let Bebe overhear that. But, uh, I've also, uh, like, like, Breath of the Wild 100% must be great. Oh, by the way, speaking of Breath of the Wild, um, <laughs> Breath of the Wild, uh, I recently discovered one of my favorite joke speedrun categories ever. Um, so Breath of the Wild die oh, no. percent. No, graduate and step boldly into adulthood. So, there's, there's a... There's a, um, like, okay, there's a speedrun category for Breath of the Wild dying as fast as possible, and my fa- there are different variations of, um, of it based on, like, what you die to. My favorite one is bees. So getting killed by bees in the fastest way humanly possible in Breath of the Wild. Someday I'd love to grab a drink, you and me. But for now, you'll have to make do with this. Speak lies. See you again soon. Is there a kill core percent? I don't know. Yeah, I do know uh, the, the old lady here is Jerry in Persona 5 Tactics DLC. She's also Maleficent. Okay, but Breath of the Wild 100% is 23 hours, 42 minutes. That makes sense. I think it's a roughly equal to Final Fantasy. No, wait, Final Fantasy 12 has turbo now. So maybe Final Fantasy 12 was faster. Yeah, go home and die percent is also pretty funny. What? So dance. If you wanna go ahead, do whatever. Is there seriously an all root speedrun for Shadow the Hedgehog? Like that must be insane. Not as insane as Final Fantasy Order of Ambrosia, but still. I enjoy both regular and joke speedruns, but, like, yeah. Ah, uh, there was another joke speedrun that I seem to remember that was pretty good. Wait, what? Uh, let's do the group study session. You're a saint. Break your hand percent involves using arts on an armored unit as fast as possible. Is that real, or is that a joke? Man, this sucks. I guess I don't have much choice with Kurijo Senpai getting on my case. Breath of the Wild 100% is only 15 hours, okay? That's way better than I thought. She was like, if you fail your midterm, there will be consequences. <laughs> I fear for my life for a second. I love characters imitating other characters in voice acting, it's great. You guys are my only hope. Give me a hand here, please. You can start by taking this seriously. You've been distracted this whole time. As they say, it pays to be prepared. Gotta get myself in the right mindset first, right? A good study session needs a clean and organized workspace and the perfect mood for learning. Apparently this scene is good. And so, to set that mood, I, Junpei Iori, volunteer. Yeah, I was specifically trying to avoid BOTW get laid percent because I feel like that's too obvious of a joke speedrun. Coming from. You there, young man! What lecture would you like to hear from the great Junpei? History? Arithmetic? Literature? Someone has routed Shadow the Hedgehog 100% in zero A presses, unironically. I can believe that. Ah, uh, Which of these is funnier to have Junpei lecture us about? Um, I'm gonna do history. About history, huh? <clears throat> well, this one's about a certain archaeological team. They spend their whole lives excavating, only to find nothing. In the end... Literature is funniest? Okay. If you say their career was in ruins, I will hit you. <laughs> oh, come on! Don't steal the punchline! And don't hit me either. <laughs> We all need a breather sometimes. What'd you think about the great June Pay's lecture, dude? 
Ah, quite the studious young man, aren't you? Then allow me to give you my best lecture yet. The funniest part is I think this is the first time he's used this portrait. Stupay, you're starting to infect his mind too. If we keep humoring you, it's going to impact our studies too. Yeah, Mara percent would be a great joke category in a Persona speedrun. Or maybe we should just let you fail. Find out what Kirijo Senpai's consequences are like firsthand. <laughs> Let's not get hasty here. I was just joking around. Y'all get serious, I swear. Don't abandon me. Oh, so he makes a reference in 1984. Oh, I think I've seen that. Which is which would be cool because I actually like 1984. It was one of my favorite things I studied in high school. Then you take that and carry it over here. And then uh Hey man. Do you mind giving me a little help with this one? Oh, look who's actually putting the effort in. That wasn't so bad, was it? About that joke I was telling earlier. Should I pause before the punchline or go with the flow? <laughs> We just pretend this guy doesn't exist and study on our own. <laughs> yeah, you do definitely get hints of Junpei and Yukari's old dynamic here, which is good. I guess that's enough studying for today. Thanks to you, I got a lot more done. Wow, well, I'm hearing some interesting stories about a Baldur's Gate 3 speedrun and putting stats into things for things. Oh, almost time at the home. Oh, yeah, it's Sunday, right. Except I, I can use the TV here. Oh, okay, you can buy from Tanaka in your room, still. So what do you got today? Going to do it. Good, good. Blinding flashlight. I have not seen that icon before. That's interesting. Not bad, kid. Oh, I'm guessing that these are attack items. So similar to Persona 4. Five, I mean. Actually, no, Persona 4 does have attack items. Thanks, kid. Okay, yeah, someone finished this game on Tuesday. Yeah, I'm sure I would have been pretty far into it if I was playing every day. But, okay. Uh, right. What is available today? I've got a uh, new message from Maya. I don't believe I have a... Do I have a Hermit Persona? So, yeah, Maya's not ready to rank up. I can rank up Bunkichi and Mitsuko again. Uh, do I have Hermit now? I do have Hermit, okay. I've got Hermit, but uh, it's a little too late for that, unfortunately. Yeah, SMT1 puts all your stat points into agility, this is affect your odds of running from battles. Yeah, the stats are weird in SMT4, like how dexterity seems to affect gun damage more than, like, strength does or something. Um, or at least it's kind of weird. I'm gonna go ahead and play the MMO. Unfortunately, this is not a rank up, so we won't be getting to see some amazing dialogue. Maybe. So apparently this is not the first time Patrick Sites voiced Tanaka. He also voiced Tanaka in, um, uh, in Dancing. I love how Tanaka is in charge of DLC in Persona 4 Dancing All Night. That's just the perfect use of Tanaka. Yeah, I can't wait for Tanaka's actual social link too. For that, I need to rank up Hermit more. Yeah, I can understand not liking Tanaka. Okay, yep, midterms. And there's another study group for today. Um, probably should do it, although I should check the other URL first. Uh, the school X site note. Moonlight channel, huh? That's a combination of like Persona 3 and 4. Who do you think is hot? Let me guess, it's just a whole bunch of like girls saying Akihiko, 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 Akihiko. And then Akihiko comes in here and into the chat and he's like, you know, if you guys, if you guys, um, uh, if you guys think I'm too hot, I can go, you know, get a wet towel and cool myself down. Taiyaki. Oh, does this spend time? 
Tayaki is going to be a permanent item. Okay. Interesting. Order Nobunaga, I'm a get one. Please tell me this doesn't spend time. Please tell me this doesn't... It spends time! Crap! Uh, well, I guess that's just the problem with winging it. I didn't realize that, but it's fine. It's fine. Because now it's exams. Mitsuru can use Bufu on this water bottle. Persona 3 Reload to save. I haven't saved in ages. I probably should save more often. Excuse me? I totally forgot five vocabulary words. That just reminds me of, you know, um, of, um, I think there's a K-On episode where their, like, vocabulary fell out of my head when, like, someone bumped into something. I have not seen anyone do the first exam with no rank up before. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. I kind of need to uh, get everything right. Oh yeah, this is just a generic, uh, yeah, so that sucks. Okay, yep. You can use the rewind feature. I don't really want to use the rewind feature. Oh, Taiyaki, are those like fried fish dough things? I've seen those. Uh, what is the other common expression you just described? Okay, there we go. That would be, um... That is actually quite serious, so I believe it's May Blues. Also, this song is great, yeah. If Real Life Exams played this song, um, although the Persona 5 exam song is probably better, but if Real Life Exam played this song, everyone would do better. I sometimes heard this song in my head when I was doing actual exams at university. What what is the following used in this experiment on the rotation of the Earth? Uh, a pendulum. Apparently, my dad had a teacher who um who used to keep pronouncing pendulum as pendulum, pendulum. Oh, Taiyaki is in the Live Alive remake. Interesting. Must have forgot about that. Which of the following is generated by a pantograph? Uh... Uh... I seem to remember that the... Uh... It's either frictional heat or magnetism. Uh... Pantograph. Uh... I want to say frictional... Because magnetism was something... Else, I think I. Uh, this is not going to go well. This is not going to go well at all. Nope. Fail. Okay. One academics and I fail one question. This is going to be really terrible. I hope you don't have to, like, get forced into summer school for failing this badly. During which historical period were middens most commonly- Oh, crap! I remember the middens part, I don't remember the period. But I do remember Kofun is like for coffin, but that was the answer from the original game. It's actually electricity? Okay. Uh... I want to say either Jormon or Kofun. This is probably going to be wrong. Oh, hey, I got it right! Okay, so one fail so far. One fail. Just like our old, um, you know our old, um, our actual school record so far. Yo. Choosing what day to explore Taurus and leading the team. Yeah, that's fine. I owe you one. Uh, I got one question wrong, though. I really hope that doesn't mean I totally fail. Uh. Oh, boy. 
someone says pretty sure you get put into summer school no matter what. I know there's a bit for with summer school later on. So hopefully three out of four is enough to like survive. Yep, only time will tell. Because I'm building a time machine to find out. Shame that went badly in uh, slide feeds in time. But okay, so I believe we should be getting pretty close to when Akihiko comes back. Uh, okay, Chihiro, and, oh, Yuko is available to rank up. That is actually kind of cool. Okay. Like, part of me wants to blitz Bunkichi and Mitsuko still. And I, like, I don't really want to start Chihiro just yet. The other day, I had a dream about Kirijo Senpai, but that dream would raise the age rating of this game drastically. She drove me around on a motorcycle, and we cruised around town at midnight. It was so cool. I wish I could ride with her like that for real. I would be really happy just to be... Ah, oh, this is the line! To be run over by Kirito senpai Bring on her burning hot wheels. Ah, <laughs> uh, I believe some frame drops just happened. So, okay. Chihiro looks like a skinnier version of yourself. Well, I mean, I mean, Chihiro looks looks fine, so like that's probably a compliment. Hi. I'm only at rank two with this one. Uh, yeah, let's hang out with Yuko a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, if you think the super fan is deranged now. There was this one time I left some tissues in the pocket of my running pants. And then I washed it without realizing. <laughs> oh boy, did that make a mess. I have literally done this before. Oh, can you hang on a sec while I put my shoes on? The tissues explode everywhere. Not again. It's the same stupid prank every time. Talk about unoriginal. Oh, I think I remember this one. Piece of gum. Oh yeah, gum always oh, sucks. At least my shoes are safe. Going that far would have been crossing the line. After the first few times, I stopped counting. Ugh. I was pissed off at first, but eventually I just got used to it. Yeah, that really sucks. Getting worked up about this would just tire me out. It's not worth it. Yeah, I remember strength personas like as an Arcana being quite strong in P3. I mean, and of course, Siegfried is amazing in the original game because Vorpal Blade is disgustingly overpowered. But if I catch her in the act, I am fully prepared to grab her and teach her a lesson. Uh, that was a joke, okay? I'm a nice girl, really. Come on, let's go. There's a four comma where the male MC asks Mitsuru for pics of her in a swimsuit out of genuine fear for his life from the Mitsuru simp, really? What do you think of switching to running tights? They say it reduces wind resistance. Reduces wind resistance? Don't give those to Junpei. Hey, look over there. It's Nishiwaki-san. Is that your new boyfriend? On to the next one already, I see. <sighs> Impressive, Nishiwaki san. Oh my god, that's Makoto's voice actress. That's Cheremy Lei, isn't it? <laughs> I can tell that's definitely Cheremy Lei. We're not dating. He's just a friend from the team. Come on. No need to act all polite in front of him. Just tell it how it is. What did you miss? Uh, you missed uh, exams, you missed an in-depth discussion about the Sonic cast's favourite anime, and you missed um, Akihiko dying in a study session with Mitsuru. I'm surprised you could even get such a handsome guy. Maybe I should become a team manager too. So this is like, this is Makoto's voice actress now voicing uh, uh, like Eri from, or whoever her name was, from Makoto Social Link. Usual. <laughs> Don't do it. No 
just be running around after everyone all day. And that's Cassandra Lee Morris. And it's not very attractive for a girl to be so muscular, you know? Oh boy, this thing again. <laughs> I like to call this the Charlotte effect from Fireable Fates. This is just like, no, don't do this. <laughs> not so loud. Her boyfriend's like right here. I kind of feel bad for her. If that's really what you want to do, I won't stop you. But you're better off looking for a boyfriend elsewhere. A manager is a busy job. You won't have time to go around sticking gum on people's shoe lockers. <laughs> oh, nice burn. What on earth are you talking about? <laughs> I haven't got a clue what that means. Yeah, it's not like I'm a total bitch who's bullying you or anything. Of course not. It was just a random example. <laughs> I like this. I, I like moments of just owning bullies with pure facts and logic. What's wrong? Did I say something to offend you? Not at all. Hey, uh, let's just go already. Sorry you got dragged into that. Yeah, like, to be honest, if I wasn't going for Yukari this playthrough, I probably would actually romance Yuko. Absolutely not friends of yours. No, you shouldn't have to deal with that. Sorry. Uh, I should probably fill you in, or you get the wrong idea about me. Yeah, generic students do tend to be jerks in most Persona games. Let's go sit down. Aiko is the girl in the Potter's Confidant? We went to the same middle school. Back then, there was this boy on the basketball team who asked me out, and we started dating. But, turns out, he was seeing her at the same time. No! What kind of guy would do something like that? Only a monster would ever do that! It's not like Fess forces you to do this or anything! Yeah, now I remember! And now I remember... Yuko, Yuko Social Link is the one that makes you feel like crap for playing the harem route in FES. When she found out, she said I stole her boyfriend. Even though I was a victim too. She blamed me because I was the manager of the basketball team. Isn't that just ridiculous? And after I became the track team manager here in high school, that set her off on me again. But really, all I want to do is support others so they can be the best they can be. Remember the gum on my locker? That was probably her doing. She's definitely the type to hold a grudge. Oh, those girls have way too much time on their hands. All they do is complain and gossip. Why don't they do something more productive? They're the ones who should get a lecture from Akoda. Yeah, uh, Jared Fayette, uh, Yuko is probably one of the most painful people to cheat on in the entire thing. Because you're putting her through exactly what happened to her in middle school. It just sucks. You're not putting enough thought into your future. Tell that to them, not me. Yeah, this is something that I've always personally felt, like, with bullies. It's like, my simple, like, answer to bullies, you're wasting your life. Oh, that reminds me. Sorry for what they said about you. Called you my boyfriend. Must have made you feel awkward, huh? Oh, hey, Bubble Tea. And yeah, I definitely like Yuko more in this game with voice acting. <laughs> that must have made you feel awkward, huh? <laughs> um, from what I remember, I actually think this gave the most points. I think I remember this from the original guide. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, justice does make you feel really bad, too. But you should mind a little, right? I'm a high school girl after all, you know. Oh, right. Make sure you don't tell Kaz or anyone else about the two-timing thing, okay? Hmm. Yeah, what's interesting is that in the Fem C route of Portable, it is implied that Kaz and Yuko might actually get together, which I'd be okay with. You're the only one I've told. Oh, also, I broke up with that two-timing jerk a long time ago. Just so you know, uh, you might be thinking, so what, right? Yeah. <laughs> What am I saying? <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to let you know that I'm single. That doesn't imply anything at all. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering how, like, again, don't spoil it for me, um, but, like, I guess, like, works in this game. Wow, that dragged on. It's late. 
We should be getting home. Because she's like, you know, like, she wasn't officially considered a romance in the original, even though it felt very romantic. I'll see you soon. In the sense that she didn't trigger jealousy. Yeah, like, the whole Cars thing was like, yeah, um, uh... Like, yeah, in a sense it does kind of, it's kind of the kind of relationship I'm not a huge fan of in the sense that it's more like, she feels more like a mother to him. Back. But like, yeah, anyway. Kaz likes Yukari? Really? I did not know that. I mean, I hear you made everyone fun. likes Yukari, so that's understandable. Congrats, man! I gotta catch up on my training. I've basically been slacking off for a whole month. Uh, apparently this game does have platonic roots. Shouldn't you take it easy though? You don't want to re-injure your arm. Yeah, the Chihiro social link was a little annoying uh, in the fact that like she gets jealous of Mitsuru and then you're forced to romance Mitsuru later if you want to get all the social links. I've already wasted enough time. Yeah, honestly, Yuko is like my pick for like underrated non-party female characters so far. Like maybe even more than Hifumi in Persona 5. Besides. We found another Persona user. Oh, what? Uh, was this? We did? Sweet. Hi there, girl. <laughs> yeah, she's a second year who goes to our school. Fuka Yamagishi. You guys know her? Okay, I thought they were hinting at Ken here, but no. Yamagishi? I think she's in class E. I don't see her at school very much. She gets sick a lot, from what I heard. She was at the same hospital as me. That's how we found out about her. Okay. But considering her health, she probably won't be able to fight. Hmm, if only there was a role in the team she could fulfill without having to be on the front lines. I wonder if that was an option. <sighs> it's too bad. We already had an evoker ready for her, too. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it would be so weird to go to someone who's like, okay, look, I know you were sick and just in the hospital, but we really need you to point this gun-shaped device at your head and fire. Just saying. What? We're giving up on her already? But I was gonna offer her some private lessons. <sighs> Why are you looking at me like that? Uh, come on. <laughs> just quit it, okay? Okay, we got more of these. Okay, this game handles romantic social links the same way as, like, don't spoil it too much, but, like, yeah. Interested to find that out, especially with Chihiro, because her social link was, like, halfway into, um, 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 interesting, okay, anti-piracy. Uh, but, like, like, she, the romance, half her social link was romance originally. Junpei and Yukari give you Mei and Bowie energy? Uh, I would say so, but I really don't ship them. And yet, like, Mei and Bowie is, like, one of my biggest Fire Emblem ships. Unfortunately, I couldn't fit them into that Valentine's Day post I made, because I can't really think of a good thing for what they do on dates. Ah, uh, I guess more girl power is good. Okay. Garage Shu doesn't have alternate, al uh, an ulterior motives for that at all. Yeah, I almost wonder if... if uh, if Fuka was meant to be immunocompromised originally. Uh, so, okay. I seem to remember that, uh, like, Akihiko is just, like, in your party when... Yeah, he's just in my party now. Yeah, so we can, if we go to Tartarus tonight, we should have him. There we go. We should be able to use him now. <laughs> if I'm being honest, yes. Sorry, my mistake. Oh yeah, they would argue where to go for 12 hours straight and then do nothing. <laughs> like, Mei and Bowie is one of the few ships involving characters who are like, constantly arguing that I actually do ship. Um, just because it feels, it just feels good natured with them. It doesn't feel like really actual, like they had actual animosity. Yeah, Junpei and Yukari are very much a sibling vibe. Like, that, that, that's what it is to me too. Let's see.
Yep, it's it is it's it. It's the moment we've all been waiting for, literally and figuratively. Yeah, no, I want a male navigator too. I really, really want a male navigator. Like that is one of my my biggest like wishes for the next Persona game. There needs to be a male navigator. Yep. Uh, we will see. Um, F Fuka is certainly a very good navigator in um, uh, in. Oh, I should have saved for exams, but oh well. Um, is a very good navigator in uh, Q. Like, she's very good in the Q games. And let's go. Yes. Uh, I, yeah, we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. I mean, Akihiko was... I feel like Akihiko was always a bit too good of a party member in the original. So I'm glad that everyone else has been buffed to match him. All right. It's finally time. I know we've put a lot on you guys, but that's over now. It's Senpai time. I'm a power fighter that overwhelms my foes with my fists. Well, actually, more like you debuff them and use magic. Akiko is kind of an interesting character. Or so you think, right? But that's definitely not all there is. Okay, he's saying that now. I've been sharpening my skills as well, and that includes the ability to target an enemy's weakness. Just wait, you'll see. I'll make up for all that time I lost before you know it. Plus, I've got to show my stuff as one of the veteran members. Just make sure to put me in the advance team. Yes, we very much will. Now, something I'm hoping is, I hope you can switch out your party on the menu now. Because it, it was kind of a problem in the original when you were basically forced to... Yeah, I wonder what this is too. When you were basically forced to talk to party members in the entrance just to swap in and out. Oh, oh, we get a new card for shuffle time. That makes sense. <laughs> All-out attack damage increases. I wonder if we'll make the all-out attack as, uh, as powerful as it was in the original Persona 3, where it was kind of broken. Marvelous. Akihiko got a pretty significant nerf. I mean, that makes sense. I do feel like he was too good in the original. Yeah, I, I always wondered, like, in terms of theme for Personas in the next game, maybe Egyptian? Egyptian might be interesting. Yeah, I mean, I could kind of figure this out on my own, Elizabeth. Not to, you know, mock you or anything, because you're amazing. So how do you get the Major Arcana after Hanged Man? Spoilers. Uh, but okay. Oh, no, Akihiko... Okay, let me, let me just check something. So, um... Uh, I believe... Yeah, organized party. So there we go. So, I mean, technically, yeah, we don't need to kick anyone out. And he's level 14, which proves that we're all kind of underleveled. But if we check him, uh, he has Zeo, Dia. Oh, I forgot he had healing. <laughs> Sonic Punch and Mazio. So yeah, Akiko is basically a, um, like a, um, uh, jack of all trades with kind of balanced stats. Weirdly, his endurance is low, but kind of makes sense because he got his ribs broken. Uh, and I like how, uh, according to the designers, Polyjuices has a small head to represent Akihiko's immaturity in the early parts of the game. Uh, oh, you're practicing your baseball swings. Yeah, some people have said that they couldn't really see Junpei playing baseball, but, like, he's always been a thing. He always uses his swords like a baseball bat. That's kind of his thing. Oh, oh, hang on. Okay, I remember this, this exchange. So, these lines here, if you've watched my unused content video, these lines, for some reason, there is voice acting for them in the data of this, but they're not voiced. I don't know why. Yeah, there were no major arcana cards in the OG Persona 3. So if I'm remembering right, um... Come on, let's get this show on yeah, the small head matches his brain size and spin-offs, of course. Um, if I'm remembering right... Uh... The next area is called the Garden of Stone Faces. And we have... Okay, a chest I already Wait. opened. Don't worry, these are the good kind of tremors. It's cool that we can actually see this staircase forming. Huh. 
Okay, he's changed pretty noticeably in this game, Akihiko, and that makes sense, honestly. Because I do feel like Akihiko was a little bit too good of a jack-of-all-trades in the original. Like, he was kind of too good at everything. Can't stick around, have to keep moving on. Gotta remember uh, that Square is to swing sword in this, in this game. Yeah, P3 has a lot of healers. So, welcome to... Yeah, this area looks pretty, pretty freaky. Yep, here we go. There's there's the stone face. Yep. I feel like they've made this song a little bit more distinct than it was in the original. It's certainly unsettling, but all we can do is press on. Of course, Akihiko would just punch those faces. Makoha gem. I also remember that in the original game, this is about where you first encountered um shadows that use instant death. Hello, balance. Uh, yeah. I know that Zio works. <laughs> Junpei's love of baseball gave birth to one of the most complicated fighting game mechanics ever known. I think there are more complicated fighting game mechanics out there, honestly. So that was like a cool Akihiko song. Ah, oh, dang it. If I if I was if I was doing like a more full-on let's play of this game, then I would do Akihiko's bio right there as he's saying it's my turn, but before he pulls the trigger. Like that's where I'd do it. Okay. He's got a lot of SP to start with. He hasn't said the line yet. I guess fairy tale personas would be kind of decent for Persona 6. Oh, he did, and I missed it. Yeah. Uh, I will take Unicorn. Uh, oh. Will I take Unicorn? Hmm. Maybe I won't take Unicorn. Yeah, sorry, chat, but I missed it. Yep, he said the thing. Yeah, it's not really as big of a meme to me as it is for most other people. It's just, I'm not a, like, I don't know, it's not a, it's not a huge meme for me. Ah, uh, that's the wrong button. Because that's mapping like a dragon. That's mapping this game. Oh yeah, I'm, I would probably use, now Junpei has his own theme in Arena Ultimax though, so I probably can't use Strike Man. Yeah, it looks like the shadows here are a bit stronger than we used to. Uh, Frivolous Maya. Let's see, let's try, uh, Boofu? Okay, I did not expect that to work. Yeah, third semester pyro, we already used Cinderella. Mitsuru, why are you giving your attack thing? We're, you're not even in the party right now. I guess because I had the main character get it. Uh, Chimera is a uh, chariot. I'll take High Priestess. You know what? I probably should have done some fusions just to make room for Personas. I'm really hoping that we get an upgrade to Persona stock soon, though, because I really need it. Uh, let's first loot this hand. Hello, Shadow. Uh, we've got uh, ice and a balance. Rhythm and balance. That is the name of one of the songs for a Shadow the Hedgehog level, but I don't know which one. I forget which one rhythm and balance is for. Uh, Ares thumbtacks would be OP in every universe because they are always. Okay, there we go. Akiva killed everything. Uh, we, um, I know everyone wants to hear the MC say Fornius, but I don't really need Fornius right now. Could somebody level up, please? I really don't want to be level 11. I feel like that's a little worrying. Uh, Meragi Gym. Found the stairs. Oh, a heroic vile plumes here. I, I remember you from my comment section a long time ago. Uh, but I don't really. Yeah, I haven't seen you in a while. 
yeah, I'm, I don't know. I, I, I personally don't really like how I've been waiting for this that much. Oh, it's White Jungle. Okay. Nicely done. Yeah. I, I, I just, I just love, um, like, don't, won't stop, just go. And, um, hey you, it's time to speed up again. That's the speed up theme. Uh, and you know, the can't the stop, so what? Hello there! I got you before you even ran! Yes! I was hoping I'd do that. Oh, and someone else has made it onto a stream. Uh, okay. Yeah, King Arthur would be an interesting persona. Yeah, I probably do want to be level 15, yeah. Um... Okay, these things do have weaknesses. They're usually weak to something physical, though, so I'm gonna try punching. Nope. Uh, I'm going pretty well. It's very hot right now, though. Like, very, very hot. You know, I, I like... Yeah, the reason why I like the Pancakes meme in, um... The Pancakes meme in Persona 5 is because the Pancakes meme is actually plot-relevant, and that's what makes it even better. Like, if it weren't for that, I'd probably groan at it. But just the fact that the Pancakes meme is, like, it's not just a silly meme, it's actually part of the plot. Like, that's what makes me love the Pancakes meme so much. Yeah, I feel like it took a while for stock to update in the original game. Gatekeepers will give you- yeah, usually bosses in RPGs level you up quite a lot. Uh, have I tried ice yet? I have not, because it's a question mark, and it did not work. Okay. Yeah, no, I remember you, um, Heroic Fireplume. You were there during Awakening, I think? Disturbing the bees. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be disturbing the peace. No, okay. Yeah, that really does sound like bees. Uh, I have not tried Zeo, really? Oh, because I missed. Well, it doesn't work anyway. Yeah, I thought so, okay. Well, well we, it's, it was worth it to figure out what it wasn't weak to. I <laughs> like how Yukari just got her joke bow on her back there. Yeah, like, anyway. Anyway. Keep pressing on. I- these rooms make me think- wait, no, these are stairs! Okay, well, at least a, a ramp. But they're not- not THE stairs. They are A stairs, they're not THE- yeah. Local villain thwarted by pancakes, that's why that meme is so funny. You lurk and don't leave comments on things, so you never notice unless people scream. Yeah, that makes sense, honestly. That's fine. Yeah, it, it's probably light or dark. Um, so I'll- I'll do that soon. When I see it again. Uh, hello, Mr. Shadow. Okay. Yeah, I bounced between multiple streamers before- Oh no, it's a table! Um... Tables tend to not like fire, from what I remember. That's a cool punch animation, though. So let me try... I'm gonna try Argy. No! Okay. Maybe it's wind? It might be wind. It is wind, okay. Yeah, I like how you can tell with the slight balls. It's usually wind or fire with these things. Wait, no, they, they usually use fire, don't they? Because they're often Magician Arcana, and Magician Arcana is fire. You, you kind of get, you know, um... You kind of get, um, like... Like, every Arcana has its own specialties, and you kind of get to feel like... For example, Priestess is ice, except Empress is also ice, so that's a little weird. Table shouldn't move, it's bad manners. Uh, like, the character's comments towards table enemies, like, towards all shadows in, uh, Persona Q are great, but I love Aegis's would destroying the table not count as property damage. That was one of my favourites. Oh yeah, this place actually does look like Endgame in Xenoblade 3. That's, that's really cool. I do feel like that dungeon was a little too long, but like, it was a fine dungeon. I like Xenoblade 3's Endgame more than most people do. Uh, Raven, okay. Uh, Ravens usually, if I'm remembering right, don't like, nope. Uh-oh, uh, how are Dunk? Maybe it's Zeo? Nope. Okay. Maybe it's Bless. Or Light. Like, you wouldn't think that it would be Wind. Nope, it's not Wind. 
Oh, it's resist wind. Yeah, I had a feeling it would not be wind. Ah, uh, Hermit. Okay. Hermit personas tend to be defensive, so I don't really know if there's... Not fire. Okay, maybe it's maybe it's bless. Oh, and Null's fire. Okay, yeah. Let me try light. Uh, I mean, I have dark. Do I even have light? Please tell me I have light. Please tell me I have kingdom hearts as light. Uh, I don't think I have light, do I? I may have an item for it. Uh, yeah. It'd be funny if it was not light. Yeah, it is light. Okay, good. Maybe that's why you can pick up unicorn here. Uh, P3R does not have confidant bonuses, unfortunately. I kind of wish they did introduce confidant bonuses, but I get why that might have been a little bit too, uh, too much of a change. It would have been funny if Nozomi had, like, the best bonuses in the game. Nozomi would probably let you eat, like, rancid gravy and odd morsels without side effects. Everyone. That's probably Watch what his bonus next. would be. Watch your step. Wouldn't want to trip over a stray rock. Yeah, don't trip or you'll die like Zoro's, um friend, childhood friend. Thanks to you I got into Xenoblade Chronicles? Like, me? Really? If so, I'm I'm thankful, because Xenoblade Chronicles is amazing, but like, yeah, I haven't done anything with it on the channel, except for reviewing Xenoblade 3, and I mostly did that because uh, Gondor is the most painful voice of all time, and I want to rant about that. This shouldn't be a problem. Oh, it'd be really funny if you needed to get to rank 5 in order to use direct commands. Uh, I'm gonna guard you. Yeah, resist is a half shield, block is a full shield, I think. Like, that's what I got used to. Yeah, confidant bonuses were not a thing until Persona 5. It's one of the best additions to the series, in my opinion. Uh, I think this is the closest thing I'll get to a full playthrough of this game, but I might do, like, party member guides at some point. Yeah, if Nozomi did have an equivalent of Metaverse Medic increasing the power of your healing, that would be hilariously uh, insane. Because then people would actually have a reason to rank him up. Yeah, Kunia's death is weird for One Piece. Doing pretty well. Oh, can we go up those stairs? Being able to eat any food item without using your turn. Hmm? Yes, if you attempt to do just... another run of Engage Lunar Amethyst, do it. I want to do another run so I can use Zelkov, because I want to, I feel like I really want to use him. I haven't used him before. Um, you struck first even though I hit you. That's not good, and you're only a week to bless, and I don't have bless right now. Uh, huh, this could be problematic. Well, at least I know that I'm currently on something they are weak to. Oh no, fine, no, it's a no sign for knowing. Now, some Arcana would give you some kind of benefits for reading. In my opinion, that could be bad. Uh, okay, yeah. Remember, okay, um, for those who don't know, I'm on Merciless. Just saying. So, like, that's that's an important point to remember. Uh, hmm. uh, okay. You're not weak to... Nope. Okay, well, at least... I mean, it missed, but... So, yeah. Another Raven going. Uh, I'm going to heal myself. No, I'm going to heal Yukari. I mean, I could, you know, I could stream engage, honestly, one day, maybe. Maybe Maddening. Yeah, I need a light persona. This is not going well. I really need something with light. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying, Pierce. Yukari just missed. Yeah, fishing for crits. Uh, oh, low chance of distress with Sonic Punch. Because it subjects them to the Sonic fan base, maybe? Yeah. Ra oh, that's actually bad. Rage could actually be not good. I do believe that distress makes them more vulnerable to criticals. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I do miss the demon negotiation, too. Uh, I'm gonna power slash him again. Yeah, uh, live stream fire up will be fun. Okay, so here's a really... Okay, uh, so I had this idea, but I would need to... That is why I didn't want to enrage you. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to enrage you. So Yukari indirectly got Junpei killed, which is fitting. 
Yeah, no, don't worry, I've got him. I've got him. We never leave Junpei hanging. That's our rule. Uh, oh, Cure Water restores that to everyone. That's cool. Uh, Antibiotic Gel that I got from Tanaka. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to use Rosado too at some point and engage. But, like, yeah, I, um... Is it me or are the enemies getting stronger? Well, either way, we're not gonna lose. I mean, that's just normal JRPG behavior there, enemies getting stronger. But what I said was that, that um... Treasure? See, it's just, it's annoying. I don't really have much time for tangents right now because the enemies here require me to actually pay attention. Uh, oh, stupid Raven. Okay. Um... The Raven just makes me think of, like, there's a, um... There is a... Uh, Junpei wa Shinda, Aitsu Ningen Danashi, or something like that, but okay. Oh wait, have we established that we don't shoot them with Yukari? I think we just established that. Uh, but what I was saying was that, um... Uh, right, so... I had a lot of... Sorry, I had a lot of tangents at once uh, going, but, um... Distress is good. But yeah, I actually have to pay attention against these enemies. Uh, I'll, once I have leveled up a little bit... If he got killed by a balance, that would suck so much. So, I've got this idea, but it would re require a ROM hack. Like, I... And I've... As much as I've tried looking up, and this is gonna make sense in a, in a moment, so bear with me. Uh, when I Google Fire Emblem Zombie Apocalypse, it only comes up with, like, an actual joke ROM hack that has a plot of a zombie apocalypse. So, okay. Let me just explain this for a moment. So, inspired by the Metal Virus arc in the Sonic IDW comic, wouldn't it be cool if it was a Fire Emblem game, you were doing an Iron Man run, but every time a character dies, they turn into a red unit and are now killing you? I'll wait for the chat to catch up on that one. Yeah, I like Metal... I, I like uh, Martial Master Aaliyah too. Okay, that's a cool crit animation. I mean, it'd be a really scary ROM hack. <laughs> like, oh yeah, Fire Emblem Dead Lords, edi Dead Lords Edition. And it would be horrifying. Like, if you lost your, your Jagan early, like, you'd be like, oh crap. <laughs> and like, your Jagan, like, like, it would probably end very, very quickly. But like, surely somebody could ROM hack that, right? Like, it wouldn't be that hard to ROM hack that, in my opinion. So like, I, I want to post that on the Fire Emblem, like, subreddit and see if somebody could ROM hack that for me. Because it would be pretty interesting. Like, yeah, like, again, it would be really, really horrifying. I'd probably do, uh, Fire Emblem 7, maybe? Blazing Sword? Although Marcus is like, yeah, Marcus would, um, kind of, like, if, if you, if you... I mean, granted, if you lose Marcus early on, you kind of deserve it, but still. Oh yeah, then Panette dying to a crit and turning him to a corrupted would be kind of horrifying too. Yeah, that would be... Uh, engage is easy. Yeah, I don't really want to hack Engage. I don't like hacking Switch games. Like, I don't like hacking modern games, personally. It's just a thing with me. But I need to go back to paying attention now. Uh... Yeah, recreating an ally who just died sounds complicated. Like... But, like, there's the enemy control glitch in, like, Fire Emblem 7. Couldn't you just, like, make the enemy control glitch just happen and, like... Well, not enemy, but, like, I don't know. It's just turning them into a red unit. But yeah, the, yeah, the flag of unit dies would be quite hard to do. So, like, it would be tricky to pull off. I just think it could be really fun, though, if it actually works. Because you're having a good time. Yeah, somebody turned Fire Emblem into a roguelike. Oh boy, that would be horrifying for Awakening lore-wise as well. Yeah, because like Jill, yeah, Jill turned into an enemy in, in, oh, I kind of want Archangel. That fool came a little late. Okay. 
Okay, I probably need to heal a bit now. Uh... Ooh, Yukari spent less. Oh, she has Medea now. We heading up these stairs? Yeah, my characters have low HP because I am... Um, oh, there's, another che there's a chest here. Uh, because this is merciless mode, and uh, this is a, there's been a bit of a difficulty spike. I seem to remember there always being a bit of a difficulty spike when you enter a new area of Tartarus, and then it evens out once you get a bit more experience. Um, uh, I'm okay with being told this. Do you get less experience on, on merciless mode in this game? Because that's a like thing in some Persona games, but in some you get more. Yeah, the next turn reinforces are a copy of the dead unit. That might make sense. So that, that gives you like a turn to prepare, which to be honest, makes kind of sense lore-wise as well. Uh, because like, then you've got... Oh boy, oh, this is bad. This is not a good setup at all. Um, this is not good. I should have saved my Makoha gem for this. But like, as in like... You've got, like, the character who's about to turn into a zombie, and they're like, Everyone, get away from me! I only have a few minutes before I turn! You have to run now! Like, that would be, that would be pretty cool. So, like, you've got that timer there before, um, they become an enemy. Uh, Grima canonically does turn Krom into a Corrupted, according to the card game. Like, according to the Fire Emblem Cypher TCG, Grima, like... Risen King Krom is canon to the future timeline. Not corrupted, yeah, Arisen. Same difference, really, but yeah. Oh, oh, I do not, yeah, I do not like these ravens at all. Please don't hit me again. Thank you. Uh, uh I need to Medea everyone, just to be safe. Fire Emblem meets the Walking Dead, basically. Oh yeah, the Reaper could show up as well here. Please crit, Junpei. Nope. Junpei, I'm supposed- Oh, no, you need crit! Okay. Just didn't get the animation. Uh, oh, well, I might be dead, actually. I very much might be dead. <laughs> hey, you know, it's fitting that I'm sitting in a pool of blood right now, just saying. Uh, oh, okay! Thank you, Tanaka, coming in clutch! But I'm going to save that until the tables are down. To the tables of turn. Yeah, Risen King Krom isn't... It? Risen King Krom took way too long to get into heroes. Considering that, um, like, uh, Black... That, like, uh, Leran's Medallion Ike got into heroes. Risen King Krom took way too long to get into heroes. Uh, I'm going to go for Blinding Flashlight now. And let... Please don't repel light, uh, tables. Thank you for not repelling light. I, I kind of don't want to all-out attack, because I might die. Yes, capitalism saved the day again. There we go. Okay, so there is one thing... Thank you, uh, card. There's one thing that I do miss with, um, you know, the, um... The all-out attack animation. Finally! It took ages to get you to level 12. Fine, yes! I, I had a feeling this was soon. Thank you, thank you. Now I can actually get a light persona. Good teamwork, everyone. Now yeah, it's not my blood, right? Right? Yeah, totally not my blood. Um, but yeah, so, um, what was I saying? I Keep completely going. lost track of everything due to that battle, but, like, yeah. Uh, essentially, I'm very surprised that it took them that long to put Risen King Krom into heroes, because you got Leran's Medallion Ike. Yeah, we need Korha. Uh, I can get Unicorn with it. I'll probably go back to the Velvet Room at the next warp and do something. Uh, but yeah. Because, yeah, finally, we got, uh, uh, we got a Mutt Ahar gem. Like oh, no, 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 Was that an enemy advantage? It was. And it's a raven, because of course it is. Well, I mean, at least nobody's weak to that. Uh, um, oh, you know what? I want to just debuff. <laughs> you know it's bad when you're debuffing basic enemies. You know, ravens suck in Persona Q as well. It's always the ravens. At least these ones don't have elemental corrosion attacks, because those really suck. You can't be enraged and distressed at the same time, can you? 
Yes, you Kari, blast that thing with arrows. Yeah, if that was multiple ravens, that would have been bad. Oh yeah, that's what I was saying before. Sorry, I, I lost track of my tangent. So, okay. Uh, what I was saying was, the thing about all-out attacks in the original game that I liked is, you knew if the all-out attack killed everything, because if the party members were being knocked backwards out of the big ball of, of dust, then you knew that the enemies didn't die. Whereas if you that's didn't get knocked really backwards well. out, out of the ball of dust, then they were all dead. So, like, yeah. And it's like, like we have an indication if enemies die um, this time, but you don't have an indication if the enemies didn't die. Oh, uh, okay, you guys are fire. Anyway. Yeah, I'm sorry for bringing back trauma to remind uh, people of the corrosion skills. Like, thankfully, things get better, like, later on, because the later corrosion skills are not nearly as bad. But those early ravens in uh, the Evil Spirit Club, like, like, part of me has a masochistic love for the Evil Spirit Club, just because it's so difficult, and it's kind of, like, fitting that way. But yeah, I can understand why people think it's brutal. Yeah, Mitsuru just sitting comfortably with Enter the Taurus being, I'm so thankful I don't have to fight those ravens. Uh, Berserker Ali with Roy. Okay, thank you. I want. I, I need light. There we go. I kind of would have preferred to fuse a unicorn myself, though, but I'll take you for now. Good teamwork, everyone. Oh, On you. The next. <laughs> Two people here don't know what corrosion skills are. Uh, so, corrosion skills make a character weak to a certain element. Uh, oh no, it was the Phantom Mages that use cor the win corrosion, but there was a Raven that used corrosion as well. So, in Persona Q, the corrosion skills make you weak to a particular element. So, basically, like, they'll use wind corrosion on you, and then you, um, you're now weak to wind. And so then enemies can just spam wind on your entire- it hits your whole party, by the way, so it makes your whole party weak to wind. And then they just- of course it's a bunch of birds. Uh, but okay, yeah. Um, they... Yes, if only there was a way to get information on enemies preemptively. It's not like we'll be getting a party member to do that very soon. Garden of the Visages. Yeah, that's a more eloquent way of saying stone faces. I uh, elect corrosion with the ravens. I know there's an ice corrosion enemy later on, but like, yeah, their, their gimmick is making your entire party weak to a certain element and then spamming that element on you, uh, and then you all get knocked down and you can't do anything. It's really, really bad, let's just say. It's really bad. Uh, yeah. Like, there's a reason why the Evil Spirit Club is spoken of in hushed whispers among anyone who's played Persona Q. Like, seriously though, play Persona Q. Persona Q is a great game. Like, I really like Persona Q. Like, people dismiss it because of the characters being exaggerated, but like, it's a really good game. Zen and Rei are good characters, the dungeon design is quite good. Uh, the problem I have personally is that, like, the character party balance is all over the place. Like, magic is really bad and physical is OP. Uh, but status elements and instant death are OP, so yeah. Oh yeah, the FOEs of the Spirit Club are terrifying, but it makes sense. I, so, you know how to take the tension off of the babies in the Evil Spirit Club? Picture them like you your bridge Baby Pharaoh. Wah! Wah! Baby FOE wants blood. Someone fetch baby FOE in RPG party. Will you register it to the compendium? My DS is broken, cannot queue. Rip. Is overriding. Oh, physical corrosion would be hell, yeah. Crit corrosion. Well, I mean, I guess that's the stress status. Uh, the weird thing is, Q2, I don't actually like Q2 as much as I really should. Uh, oh, okay, um, I like Jack Fro- Oh, where'd Fornius come from? Oh, right, no, I got you because I was thinking of starting Emperor. Okay, but I'll, I'll guess I'll do this, this then. Would be a wise choice. Korha, single shot. You're not as good as P5 Archangel, in my opinion. What do you wish but I will have? take you. Uh, I guess I'll take- It seems no new powers have been- It seems- no new powers have uh, no a justice new social link, unfortunately. Emergence. Yeah, Persona Q's story is better than you'd think. Like, I don't want to spoil it, but Zen and Rei are just so good. Yeah, Hasor Torbi on Aegis and Junpei is disgusting in Q. Uh, Junpei has a skill that lets him- that gives him a random chance to use any physical attack twice for free. Uh, Aegis has Orgia mode, and Chie 
makes criticals do more damage, and Akihiko has a higher critical rate. So, like, all the physical people are broken in that game. Uh, let's see. Bereth. Oh, I'm not high enough level for Bereth. Aramitama. I don't want to get rid of Valkyrie. Oh, no, I'd rather do Fusion Search, I think, right now. Uh, Nihimitama, Slime... Uh, Omoe Khan. Oh no, Omoe Khan is low level though. But I kind of doubt that you can inherit better elements. Also, your magic sucks. Oh, you can inherit elements. But again, your magic sucks. Uh, Ogier. Yeah, 50% chance for Golden Gemini. Yeah. Junbei has a 50% chance in Q when he's upgraded his persona to use any physical attack a second time for free, and that includes Hasso Tobi. It's really funny. Time you need to consider. Would be a wise uh, you're more of a healer. I just personally remember you being counselor. Ugh, just, I like Valkyrie. Yeah, Bereth keeps changing Arcana all the time. Just like Pixie. Yeah, I like the opening... Yeah, Naoto is broken in Q, yeah. I like the opening theme of Q2, but, like, I don't really like Q2 as much as Q1 as a game. The dungeon design is not as good. This would be a wise choice. I mean, I could take... Because Slime has some good physical Please resistances. What skills to inherit. I'm going to need to probably get back on Meraki, but... Okay, Rebellion is probably good on Slime. Rakunda. Yeah, I'm going to make... No, actually, hang on. A fair of I'll do this. I need Shall to get Archangel back. You and me together forever. Slime has amazing dialogue in SMT5, by the way. Yeah, Q2 has... So, you know what's really sad? I've forgotten what Haru's moveset is in Q2. Completely forgotten what her moveset is. Oh, uh... Raging Tiger. That makes you do more damage when... Yeah, definitely accept skill change. Okay, that's fine. Oh my god, I love how the, 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 the description... The trophy for that is Tempting Fate on skill change. Because that's so true. That is so true. Yeah, Persona Q2's soundtrack is really good in general. Like, very, very good soundtrack. It's just that I'm not a huge fan of, like, yeah, uh, the overall gameplay. Um, where the heck is Arcane? Do I still... Yeah, I... Oh, I suppose I can take you back. Unless Unicorn's better. Unicorn is a little better. I'll take back Arcane. Uh, Arc Unicorn, whatever. Uh... Oh, I don't have a heart item on that unicorn, because you have to fuse them to get the heart item. Please, I... No, I don't want you back. I need Omoraki. I need the chicken, because my chicken has a lot of elements, and that's a weird thing to say. Please, oh, no, no, I, I have it already. Okay, so I have Chariot, I have Hermit, I have Strength. I have Magician, I have Priestess, I have Slime, and I have Justice. I think Are that's good. Finished? Yeah, Ken has Psylinx. Uh, I don't like what they did with Ken in Q2, but... I mean, it's fine. You no, know, I saved at the entrance to Tartarus. But yeah, I, I, I do love how the skill change uh, trophy is called Tempting Fate, just because that is very true. I love how Elizabeth walks out with you. Uh, Good day. Are you request. accepting a request? Well, oh, I can... Hear the okay. Thank you. Report that. Oh, and I can report oh, this too. Fierce Sutra. I believe that's like a rocket cutter. Oh, okay. A uh, fusion request. That's definitely a thing. Remember those. Yeah, Ken sucks in Q2, but also Ken was broken in Q1, so he kind of had his time in the sun. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know what? One day I might do a playthrough of Q2. I mean, I'm kind of one of the few people out there who'd probably do that. It's just, it, it's just, I don't like it as much as Q1 is the problem. But hopefully it wouldn't be that unfun. I don't know. Oh, also there's a boss, yeah. Kamoshida Man is a brutal boss, though, in Q2. Like, the, the boss fights I do think are better than in Q1. Q1's bosses were just damage sponges, personally. Uh, yeah, I have quests to accept. I, I accept the quests when I can complete them. Also, I need to heal a little bit. Also, I need to heal SP a little bit. So, let's drink some souls. Yeah. Yeah, one of my favorite things in, um, uh, Critical Role was when, um, I guess we should use some of the things from the old couple, um, was when, like, some of the party members in literal hell accidentally ate souls. 
and then threw up once they realized. All right. Yeah, I cannot believe what they did to Aegis in Persona Q2. So, Aegis was one of the most overpowered characters in Q1. So, you'd think they'd nerf her in Q2, right? Well, in Q2, they decided, you know what? Let's not nerf Aegis. Let's not nerf her physical skills. Let's instead keep her physical skills the same, but give her a high magic stat and nuclear skills as well. Because that's balanced. <laughs> then the soul-eating thing from Critical Role got really dark when um, Percy realized that the sensation was familiar implying that he actually tasted the souls of the people he killed when under the influence of possession, but anyway. Uh... Ken's not terrible in Q2. He's just, like... Yeah, he's just not as good as he was in Q1. Lightning e Lightning Eagle? How dare you disgrace the memory of Advance Wars. You will pay for that. Eat lightning. Wait, I'm dumb. Of course they're not... They're gonna resist that. Ugh, argue loud, okay. Well, that hurts. Zeo. Oh, that's not good. Don't hit her again, please. Okay. Don't hit her again, please. Well, okay, that's good. Right. Uh, okay then. Uh, Lightning Eagle. Maybe Garu. I resist fire. Okay, that's probably... Oh, I'm weak to slash on this, though. Do I have anything better with Garu? <laughs> Oh, I'm weak to fire on that. Nope. Um... Uh-oh. Oh, I have you. Oh, I'm weak to fire on that. I don't have anything good for this, do I? I can try wind? Yeah, Master of, uh... Master of Tartarus is a good skill. Okay. I mean, I can maybe Garu them both and then shift over to some... And then switch to an Ice Persona. Yeah, they can actually get extra moves off Lightning Strike too. They really... Oh, I can't switch off of you. Right. Makes sense. Um, I need to not die now. Okay, that was a weakness. Naoto was very fun in the Q games. Uh, I got one dizzy at least. But that uh, made the enemies wake up again. And my protagonist is with Slash right now, and he's also the only one who has ice. Oh wait, I can shift back to him and switch personas, right? The problem is I'm like either weak to Slash or I'm weak to Fire. Do I have anything with uh, ice that is... Okay, you're... I think you're fine. Master of Tartarus is the name of your song. Oh yeah, that yeah that Sonic Persona fan game did actually have the the Q movesets. I yeah I I still wish Sonic Chronicles was better than it was. Okay, that that Raven's not Raven. That Eagle's almost dead. But uh, oh yeah, somebody's going next. So um, let's punch you. Uh no, Teddy's better in Q2. That's one of the good things about Q2. Teddy is way better in Q2. Like very significantly better, which is good. Do I kill that, or do I heal? Though, I'm gonna try and kill this. Wait, hang on. Do I have a wind item? Uh, no I do not, okay. Blaze having ice instead of fire would be weird. Okay, good, you guys are still feeling extremely dead and on the floor right now. Yeah, like, the thing with Q2 is there's a little too many party members in that game, so it just gets kind of hard to, like, I like using everyone, and that is very hard to do in Q2. And, yeah, Magic Luck Reverse does make your scale a lot better in that game. Uh, I'm a slasher. Yeah, I wish Earth spells were a thing in more Mega 10 games. Like, Earth skills should be a thing in more in more Mega 10 games. I think I need to heal you, Kari. Oh yeah, Mitsuru is a lot better in Q2, I, I agree with that. I forget exactly why, but she's like magic. 
The thing I like about Q2 is magic is good. Like, the core battle system in Q2 is better than in Q1. It's just that, like, some of the fight design and also the dungeons aren't as good, and I don't think the story is as good. But that's only because Zen and Rei are, like... The only problem I have with Q2 is the dungeon aesthetics don't change as much as they do in Q1. And that's always been disappointing to me, because, like... Things felt fresh in Q1 when the dungeons, like, changed aesthetics midway through. Yeah, wildcard team and Akechi, to be honest, that's basically what everybody uses in Q2. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a shame. I mean, because everyone... I mean, that wildcard team is good, but, like, yeah, it's just kind of a cliche in my opinion. Her personal in Q1 was turning to a basic attack in Q2. Sounds like what happens in the Trails games when characters show up later. Yeah, I'd like to see Earth and Aqua being brought back. I'd like to see some of the crazier elements in Persona 1 coming back one day. Or two. Persona 1 did have some very crazy elements. Yeah, I, the thing I find really funny about Earth skills in in, um, in Digital Devil Saga is, so the Demi Fiend is immune to everything except for uh, Earth and Gun, because they are the only two elements that weren't in Nocturne. <laughs> so it's implied that he's using the Masakados Magatama, but like, it doesn't protect him against elements that didn't exist in Nocturne. <laughs> so okay, like that wasn't a terrible fight. It was kind of obvious what they were weak to, that helped. And then I used Zeo on them at the start. That's true. Yeah, following up Zen and Rei, that is a rough time. Hikari is not a bad character, but like, she's not as good as Zen and Rei. And she's also kind of a bit of a rehash of Futaba, honestly. Yeah, I want gun skills to be, um, definitely to be a thing continuing. I hate it how in Persona 4, the only Man, physical... My bladder's about to burst. Really now? Be careful not to... Uh, the only physical element in Persona 4 was just physical. Uh, Maragi skill card. Okay. Is there anything up here? No. That means Puzzle Boy is canon to Nocturne? Oh wow. Yeah, uh, Puzzle Boy, I, I still haven't done Puzzle Boy in Nocturne, and I still haven't done the Bando Shrine. Uh, maybe I could actually stream that one day. Because those, like, like, the thing about Nocturne that I've noticed that's interesting, nobody cares about the Bando Shrine! It's the one where you fight all of the Devas and, and Masaka- and get the ex- like, well, actually no, that's Masakado's New Game Plus, but anyway, like, like, nobody seems to care about the Bando Shrine in Nocturne. It's, it's just kind of, I don't know, it's weird. But, okay, I'm, I'm not going to use the clock just yet, but I am going to heal up a little. Oh yeah, no, Tartarus is really cool in this game. I, I like how it feels similar and yet different. Like, they ironed out everything that needed to be ironed out, and while at the same time keeping everything good about it, which is the resource management. I think Yukari needs a drink. Uh, yeah, Puzzle Boy. You know, I would like Puzzle Boy if it weren't for the fact that you had to do all these puzzles in one sitting. That should not be a thing. Like, why is that a thing? Why? Okay, here we go, Mad Bull. Yukari's gonna be on such a sugar rush now. Yeah, like, I basically never see anybody care about the Bando Shrine in Nocturne. Uh, but okay, I'm just gonna refill my water for a second, so I'll be right back. I hope this doesn't die while I'm out.
Okay, um, okay, that was a nice cool breeze from the windows right now, so let's resume. Um, so, someone's saying getting all the endings in Nocturne is a pain. I completely agree. Uh, the thing with, like, that is, unlike, see, what I like about Digital Devil Saga is, there's a point where you can save and have access to all the endings. So all you need to do is just reload a save from that point. And you can do that in SMT5 as well. In Nocturne, like, you have to lock yourself into the endings at various different points in the story. So you basically have to do multiple full playthroughs just to get all of them. And I know there's an achievement for getting all of the endings. I don't really care to do that myself. Uh, okay, yes, yeah, status ailments. Right, I mean, I've been using that against ravens anyway, but still. Is that treasure? Uh, oh, hey, I can call to move first. That's exactly what I wanted. Well, there's not really, like, reason points in Nocturne. It's weird. So, from what I can tell, um, you basically, like, there are two points where you get the option to support a reason. And, like, if you say, like, a certain thing, also that's Arcana Burst, um, if you say a certain thing there, then it will, like, I, I think you actually, so, uh, it, it's complicated. So, like, essentially to be locked into a certain reason's ending, you have to do a certain thing that basically counts as you pulling a moral event horizon and locking yourself firmly into that reason. For example, like, agreeing to sacrifice your teacher or agreeing to kill the mannequins um, at, uh, at Mifunashiro. And depending on, like, which options you've selected earlier, like, I don't think I even had the option to kill the mannequins in my playthrough. Like, the option just wasn't even there. So I think you have to, like, you have to, like, select, like, like, either, like, support them earlier, and then you get the option to do it. Like, I don't think I had the option to sacrifice Hijiri either. I mean, this is technically spoilers, but, like, I mean, honestly, nobody really cares about Nocturne's story all that much. Um, it's more about, like, the atmosphere and the lore. Um, uh, the map icon, no, actually. That's only a thing at the very start of the game, and it confirms, um, it, it confirms that the Demi-Fiend was canonically always Chaos-aligned, even from the beginning, which is interesting. But, um, yeah, the reasons are all terrible, but, like, if you want to get the reason endings, like, um, what is interesting is you can still choose the reason options if you're going for true demon ending because that overrides everything else. So what speedruns do, sadly, is speedruns side with Chiaki and with, um, with, uh, Hikawa, uh, thereby killing the mannequins and, uh, the teacher because it skips boss fights. Well, specifically because, um, because, um, the boss fight you get for siding with Chiaki is faster than fighting the Archangels, so they go for that fight. And then choosing to side with Hikawa and kill the teacher, that skips Samael. Um, so they do it just because it's faster, and if you're going for True Demon Ending anyway, you don't really care about locking yourself into other reasons, because True Demon Ending overrides everything. Um, so, like, that's my Cliff Notes version of how Nocturne speedruns work from watching them a lot. Although, in my opinion, the even funnier thing about Nocturne speedruns is what demon they use for most of the bosses. I may have, I think I've talked about this, this on camera before, but they basically make this build with Hellbiker and Self-Destruct. Um, so, um, they put, like, Last Resort on Hellbiker. Uh, yes, that does skip Samael. Um, like, skipping Samael locks you into Hikawa's reason unless you do true demon ending. Um, but it does skip Samael, uh, which is interesting. Uh, because Samael is kind of a painful fight. So, if you don't care about the teacher and you want to do that, you can. But I, you know, don't want to murder someone, so yeah. But, like, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely, uh, definitely kind of a weird thing. Um, but, um, but yeah. Uh, they basically, like, make a build on Hellbiker that has charge and... Because, like, self-destruct is... Uh, I agree, you are a monster if you kill the mannequins. Uh, they're the only sympathetic faction in all, in all of Nocturne. Like, yeah. But, um, what I was saying was that, um... Uh, self-destruct is very weird in, um... 
yeah, in um in Nocturne, uh, in that it is physical, but it's not physical elements. So like it scales off of your strength stat, it gets buffed by charge, but it is not actually physical elements, and it's not almighty either. It turns out that self-destruct is its own elements, and the only enemies that are immune to self-destruct are like Black Rider, the one rider that gets healed by its self-destructing minions. So only bosses that are designed with uh with self-destruct gimmicks in mind are immune to that are immune to it. So you basically just stack a bunch of buffs on Hellbiker, use charge, and then just blow up Hellbiker on every boss. It's amazing. Like I, I just picture for those speedruns, I just picture Hellbiker just just driving at the enemies, screaming like a maniac, and then it just cuts to a mushroom cloud. Oh no. That's this is our introduction to red shadows, isn't it? Or purple shadows, yeah. Oh, I don't think I want to do that on merciless mode. Nope. Not doing that. Not doing that. Not doing that. Uh, uh, perpetually confused, so, okay. Physical is the only viable endgame build on Demi-Fiend, but a lot of people in speedruns now like going magical for Demi-Fiend early on, just because, um, do I have, like, a Mazeo gem? Uh, I don't think I do. Um, just because... Tornado early on is OP. Like, Tornado for the Demi Fiend is extremely OP. Um, it's an incredibly powerful skill, and you get Force Amp on the same Magatama you get it on, and you can get both very early. So, like, Tornado is actually, like, amazing. Uh, you guys aren't dead yet, and you're gonna move soon. Well, I guess I can Mazio you again, but Akiko's SP is not looking great right now. Yeah, a, a magic only like it's funny like like there are some decent magically viable builds in Nocturne. It's just that like every end game boss kind of forces you to use Pierce physical. Uh, that is an all target attack, isn't it? That's cool. Went off without a hitch. Let's get going. Also, new fangirl. Wow. Yeah. So this is why the DLC emblems are broken. <laughs> That'd explain it. Cleave earrings. That sounds like a torture device. Uh, but... Let me just check something. Oh, reduce slash damage. Uh, I don't think Akihiko has anything right now, so... I'll take power band. Yeah, Akiko's SP is not looking so good. It's, I guess it's because there's a lot of enemies that are weak to uh, Zeo in here. Uh, I believe the only speedrun categories of Nocturne that I know of are um, are hard True Demon ending and normal Musubi. I guess because Musubi is the fastest of the other reasons. Um, but like, I don't think there's any other speedrun categories, which is kind of a shame. And yeah, technically it's just force boost in Nocturne. I called it AMP because Nocturne only has Looks one like tier of boosting skills, and it's effectively AMP. It's plus 50% damage. So, like, essentially it's just AMP. Hmm? It's a truck. But, like, yeah, uh, like, Tornado is very, very good in Nocturne. Oh, okay, yeah, because Nocturne Remastered does actually fix some of the old glitches. Uh, I don't know if it fixes the weird stat formulas with, like, evasion or anything like that. Oh, it's a tower. Huh. If I remember right, towers usually don't like Zeo. I was right, okay, good. It's weird that I remember a lot of it, like, generally speaking, certain types of shadows just tend to be weak to certain things. Um, yeah, I know I got a trophy. I know. Yeah. It was just about briefcases. Uh, I love how these things, their heads fall off those when they get knocked down. Like, that's a lot better looking than their original knockdown animation. I'm just waiting for the apostate tower to show up because then I can make a Raya reference.
Yeah, trying to speed run Tara. No, you, you can't actually. Oh, no, no, no. You can go here before Akihiko joins. Uh, because you could go, like, as, this is available after Priest dance, I guess. Let's do the same thing for our next fight. Um, unless it's, like, not weak to all that. Yeah, Akiko just joined. It makes sense for a lot of things to be weak to Zio. That's, like, I, I always liked how a lot of things in, like, the sixth dungeon in vanilla, Persona, in, in Persona 4 were weak to, um, Light and Dark, because Naoto just joined. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the Tower Arcana card does have Lightning striking it. It fits. And Towers do have a penchant for getting struck by Lightning. Like, honestly, I don't mind the quote-unquote frogs of this version of Mass Destruction now that I'm listening to it more. Yeah. I was just thinking, there's admittedly a little bit of charm in these types of, like, shadows. Um, like, it's still better, like, in Persona 5 to have the enemies be the same as the Personas, but, like, that's, that's, I'm fine with these existing. Oh, well, that's a cool dodge animation, though. Like, that's a really cool dodge animation. But yeah, at least it's not quote-unquote dying ducks, according to, um, Sonic 2 episode, no, Sonic 4 episode 2. Um, sadly, I actually did buy Sonic 4 Episode 1. I, I didn't really realize how bad it was at the time. I, I honestly, Naoto is still useful in, in Golden. In Golden, definitely. In Vanilla Persona 4, Naoto is not very good, but in Golden, Naoto is actually very good. She's not good for, like, the thing she's meant to be good for, uh, but she's good because she gets a lot of elements and concentrate or mind charge. That chest looks like... No, Zeus should be a Persona, a Persona villain. I'm... That shadow just stopped existing when I opened the chest. It's like, no, my treasure, my treasure, my only reason for living. Um... I'm really surprised that Zeus is not in more Shin Megami Tensei hey, games. Because, like, Zeus was in SMT5. He's an optional fight in Strange Journey Redux, I think. I just wish that Zeus was in more more SMT and Persona games. Because he's 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 got potential, uh, mythologically. And he's like one of the biggest jerk gods in all of mythology. So he's perfectly fitting for Shin Megami Tensei. So, yeah, I'm really surprised that Zeus is not in more things. Uh oh, that's a purple shadow, and I don't even want to try on Merciless. I'm just gonna nope out of here to the next floor. Yeah, I'm I'm fine with these shadows. Yeah, apparently Sonic 4 Episode 2 is better, but yeah, I don't know. I've not spoiled myself on party members and skills. Please don't tell me. And Zeus was a super boss in Persona Q1 as well, which is pretty cool. Um. Yeah, they can knock down enemies regardless of weaknesses, but you need to crit. You kind of need re Rebellion for that. Uh, I would like, yeah, I would like to see Hera in, uh, is Hera in, in any SMT games at all? Yeah, I call Red Shadows Purple Shadows because they look more purple in the original FES. Yeah, Zeus is definitely Gary Sue's canonical persona. Uh, critical is guaranteed when attacking a frozen enemy. I think it's also guaranteed on shock. Unless they nerfed that. And I wouldn't be surprised if they nerfed that because shocking the Reaper was OP in the original game. Yeah, I don't think Hera is in any SMT game, which is weird. Hey, did you hear something just now? Not, not that I'm scared or anything. Oh, Yukari, canonically, you haven't explored the Evil Spirit Club at this point. You'll be very scared later on this year. Uh, oh, um, I need Bless now. Uh, Light, whatever. I think it's called Light in this. Yes, it's called Light in this. So that's confusing. Yeah, we do need more Greek God Demons. Yeah, it's funny that they only explain crits now. Oh yeah, technically Hera is in this game. Yeah, because Juno is Roman Hera. No, the status ailment tutorial's already happened. I was just talking about something else at the time. 
Uh, Hades, Hades was a party member for Persona in Persona 2, which is cool. There are a lot of, um, a lot of, um, Greek Personas in 2, though. I honestly feel like the Persona, like, setup in 2 was a bit unfocused. So glad that didn't crit me. Uh, I sort of want to Junpei slash everything with Vacuum slash. Uh, I don't think Odin and Zeus would be redundant. I think they are different. Like, Odin and Zeus are both in SMT5, and they are pretty different in that game. Like, I mean, I mean, admittedly, they are both, like, physical Zeo hybrids, but they are still fairly different. I still love how Zeus get. No, wait, no, he doesn't naturally get it. I gave Zeus Sexy Dance when I was playing SMT5 because it made sense. Yeah, they are they are light and dark in this game, not bless and curse. So that's going to be really confusing for wiki editors. I remember after Persona 5 first came out, the Shin Megami Tensei wiki, um, light and dark turned into bless and curse everywhere, which was kind of weird. Uh, I want to explore here a little bit more. Yeah, no, Odin and Zeus are very different, in my opinion. Yeah, Zeus with Sexy Dance is a cursed thought, but it is mythologically accurate, so... And and Zeus in mythology is supremely cursed, so it fits. Like, when my sister was studying, um... Uh, when my sister was studying, um like, like, uh, Greek mythology, like, the, the teacher basically said that if anybody, uh, if you, if you have any question on who anybody's father is in Greek myth, it's probably Zeus. Like, just answer Zeus and you'll be right at least half the time. Uh, this is the run button. Get back here, you stupid shadow. Aha, I cut corners a little bit there. Yeah, Gilgamesh really isn't only one SMT game? Huh. Okay, so this is probably either light or dark, and I think I have items for both of those. Uh, let's try my a here. Nope. Uh, Zeus turned into a swan to seduce someone at one point. I know that much, so that's horrifying enough. Let's try light. It was light. Good. And Bahamut has been in no SMT. Well, I mean, it makes sense. SMT wants to not be like Final Fantasy. <laughs> yeah, I learned most of my mythology from Persona and Overly Classic Productions and Hades. Though, though, admittedly, most of the stuff in Hades I already knew, except for Zagreus. Yeah, Odin, like, Odin's All Father title is more metaphorical, I feel. And then he hung himself from the Tree of Wisdom to get knowledge, which is the Hangman Arcana. Well done. It's all Let's continue exploring. No, I feel like Leviathan is in one of the obscure Demi Kids games. I'm sure Leviathan's in an SMT game somewhere. Because, like, Leviathan is biblical. It'd have to be somewhere in there. Whew. All right. Let's get moving. Yeah, Zeus has done done things. He's done a lot of questionable things. Oh, Beast Shadows. Uh, from what I remember, they tend to not like fire. But I'm going to try and distress you. Oh, I crit anyway. Okay, I didn't even need to distress. Oh, yeah, Zagreus could definitely be a party member of Persona. Uh, like, like, part of me, so some agent mentions this. This is, I, haven't, I have no right to speak on this because I can't, I haven't played that game. But part of me is a little iffy on how they portrayed Odin and God of War Ragnarok, but anyway. And, and, and even as like good of a villain as like you think he is, I'm kind of... A, I feel like gaslighting parent villains are a little overdone these days. I mean, like, they're... They're... Good when they're done well, but it's like I've seen enough of that in Persona 5 right now, so I didn't... I don't feel like it was totally... Anyway. Yeah, the funny thing is that, like, oh, maybe it's wind. No, it's not wind. Okay. 
Oh, you have Sonic Punch, huh? Oh, don't, don't! Thankfully, there's only one enemy in play, and you're going again! Okay, I'm... I think I need to heal. Okay, don't crit... Okay, at least you didn't attack and crit me. Yeah, I don't know why whenever these things are on low health, the ball and chain tries to drag them away like a balloon. I, I, I don't know what, why, but huh. Maybe it's... Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's dark. It is. I had a feeling it was dark. Because I think this was like one of the first times instant death was viable in the original game. Uh, I'll take that. Power of choice, okay. <laughs> what mythology workout. do I think Persona 6 should use? I kind of want Egyptian. I think Egyptian would be interesting. That or Chinese or Celtic. Celtic would be really good, actually. Celtic. I changed my answer to Celtic now. Yeah, I still can't believe God of War Ragnarok 1 best soundtrack. But I mean, I know it's a good game and... Ah, that was not good. I was like, I don't need to swing my sword. What are you talking about? Uh-oh, that could be bad. Please don't attack MC. Yeah, I'm, I, I admit that I'm biased with Celtic because um, I recently found out that I'm 34% Scottish and 30% Irish. Uh, yeah, the blonde guy from SMT5 is Celtic. Um, uh, he is... And they pronounce his name correctly. Um, which is funny, because when pronounced correctly, his name is literally McCool. But yeah, Fionn McCool. Um, who has the same voice actor as Dimitri, so obviously I'm biased towards that. Um, it's a shame, though, because he's, he's, like... Fionn McCool is, like... He isn't in SMT5 very much. He barely does anything. And they got Chris Hackney to voice him. Like, why? Okay, there we go, there's I've been waiting for this. Well, he said it a lot before, but like, I feel like this might actually do more damage than a lot of attack. <laughs> Ultimate spam! <laughs> Triple Mazio! Lightning strikes thrice. Uh, you're going next. Can I kill you? Thank you. Yeah, Fionn had a, had a pretty cool design as well. They already did Japanese mythology in Persona 4, so I'm, I'm okay with not having, um... Oh, I already have Chimera. Book of Fabrication, huh? Is that something that you can do with, like, Fire Emblem, maybe? More Fey Persona? Yeah, that would be that would be pretty good, because like you could do that with Celtic. There's a lot of a lot of Fey in Celtic mythology. So yeah, like honestly I do think that like Celtic would mythology would be would be pretty cool. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, it was a two-way teleporter, right. Well, at least I can go down here. Yeah. The thing that also sucks about Fion, so what I had to do to Fion is that I, um, I unlo I completed his final side quest and, uh, and unlocked him for, uh, I completed his final side quest and he joined your party. I immediately dismiss him so I can fuse a better version of him. Because, like, he's, like, if, if, it's, if he's not made by fusion, then he sucks. So, yeah. Australian Aboriginal Personas would be good. The thing that I worry about that is that you'd really need an actual cultural consultant for that, because historically they've always been treated very badly and um, don't really like white people culturally appropriating them. So, yeah. If it was me, if there was an actual cultural consultant, then yes, but that would be very hard to do in a Japanese game. Very hard to Careful. do. The enemy's nearby. Oh, Morrigan isn't an SMT game? That's cool. Ah, well, the teleporter was pre was in the previous floor. Uh, okay. Uh, right. We've got a Magus and two fire-looking tables. 
which means we probably need some ice here, and Nagus is generally either Zeo or Winds. Yeah, Kuhulan. Kuhulan is one of the most popular personas in, uh, not personas, demons in SMT, but I think that's only because of Fate. Yeah, we do need more than the Rainbow Sl Snake and Yulunga. Right. Yeah, there are there are a lot of like like bunyips would be interesting. Another day on the job. Three enemies. They're strong, so watch out. Uh, okay. So, Heretic Magus, Grievous Table. Again, I want to say ice on you. Well, that's obvious. I like how you can hear their swords clatter to the ground. Uh, do I have, like... Okay, I got Rakunda. Like Kaja, but I don't want to equip something weak to fire. You're way too low level, though. Uh, no, I'm weak to fire on slime. I want to rock a Kaja myself, but I don't really see a good way to do that. Uh, Ro Ro mythology would be maybe, but I mean, it's mostly the same as... Uh, oh. Yeah, that was a little obvious. So I'm guessing this is Zeo then? It is, okay. <laughs> I hear it gets rowdy with an Obi-Wan Kenobi near it. Uh, I think I've got a lot of attack you just to try and for Dizzy, but then I'm going to revive Junpei. Poison? Huh. Yukari has been affected by the toxic fan base. Uh, do I have... Okay, good, I have... Ah, I can use a bomb of life. Yeah, I do like that they're keeping the fact that Junpei gets wrecked by early game bosses. Because that's just kind of his thing. Uh, Junpei probably needs to guard. At least he looks cool when he's guarding. I hope all that attacking doesn't break your guard. Uh, Norse would be decent, I think, personally. Oh no, I think there are other cryptids. Uh, I, I still think the conspiracy theory demons in SMT4 were hilarious. Uh, okay. Mazio? Yeah, Akihiko is, the, is the, the new VA I'm having a hard time getting used to. That's an auto crit, right? Maybe not. Okay. Interesting. Agi is fine. Uh, uh, I'm still gonna have the guard. <laughs> yeah, the poison is turning her into her the answer personality. Your party members start out reverse arcana, and by the end of the story, they turn upright? That's really just Persona 3, though. Oh, okay, poison stops you from being in all-out attacks. Didn't know that. I thought it was just incapacitating ailments. Okay, Junpei's still guarding, right? Uh-oh. I'm... don't... Well, you're kind of an idiot, because you probably would have killed me if you'd used that on protagonist, so... Uh... Yeah, I should have realized that I was on a win week persona at the moment. Thanks. Huh, okay then. The I there need the to. That's not the un, un knockdown. I say un knockdown because at times I like I, I, I instinctively say knocked up for the inverse of getting knocked down in persona, and then I'm like, wait, no, that sounds really bad. I am not aware of this fake fanfic god, but they sound mm, interesting. Ah, uh, wind resistant. Yeah, I can take. I'll take that. Devil survivor has a New Jersey demon. I think it does. I still, one of my favorite SMT demons is still Turbo Granny. Turbo Granny is just such an amazing name. 
Uh, and it's a real Japanese urban legend as well. And goodbye. Just like we planned. I like that you still get all that attack finishes on mini bosses. Oh no, we got yet another toxic pairing from Steven Universe. Okay, we're up to level 14 now, that's good. Alright. Nair Reincarnation is the mobile game, right? Yeah, cooling down is important after exercise. Yes, replaying Devil Survivor is always a good decision. It's a really good game. <laughs> yeah, perpetually confused. That sure sounds like an uh, two thousands fanfic. <laughs> Yeah, Mitsuru would have embarrassing stories to share about Akiko, wouldn't she? Stop. <laughs> That's great. That's really great. Yeah, I do see them as maybe me having more of like a... I, I know it's cliche, I say that like, everybody has sibling-like relationships, but... Enemies, but they spice things up every now and then. Is that what Grandma Yokai is in Yokai Watch? I mean, maybe, maybe there's Tur Turbo Granny is apparently based on a Japanese urban legend where um, ah, uh, ah, uh, am I allowed? No, I'm not allowed to go down a floor. Okay, hmm, that's a little bit of a twist. Okay, then, so I've got to be extra careful about how I go about this next floor. Yes, of course, Akiyo doesn't like cooling down. Uh, but like Turbo Granny is the urban myth where like if you're traveling at a another oh Ah, <laughs> uh, I see why the why the chat said there was a jerk move coming up. Seven floors to the border. Okay. Well, I'm really almost done with this round of Tartarus. Huh. Yeah, it's just like, haha! <laughs> You thought it was over, but there's another boss! Which actually, and this is really weird, this actually is reminding me of the, um, the beach episode from Sonic X, which I honestly think was, like, would have been legitimately clever if that was in a game where, like, you beat an Eggman boss, and it's like, yeah, we beat the boss, and then, surprise, I had another mech! But that's basically what's happening right now. Oh, boy. Ooh, this right. could be bad. Well, dice usually don't like Zeo, and the twins also don't like Zeo. At the very least, like, like, right. like two mini bosses in a row. I'll take that over a mini boss and then more Tartarus. All right, let's do this. Oh, oh, that looks cool, but, uh. Disturbing Dice, yep. Slaughter Twins. Uh, I'm guessing that this fight is about getting critical, so you know what? I'm gonna equip Slime, just in case. Uh... Rakunda the Dice, maybe? Yeah, this is what they're going for. I'm gonna try Mazio because generally speaking, these enemies don't like Zio. Yeah, that like I'm not a. Oh, it's not the dice. I mean, that's kind of fitting. But like, yeah, I the beach episode is one of the only episodes of Sonic X I actually like. Uh, fun fact: I've actually made an AMV of that episode, but I don't want to upload it because it I, it could get copyrighted. Uh, I'm gonna Tarunda the dice just in case it explodes. Oh, don't crit me, please. Oh, you, you're using the one physical element I'm not immune to. Of course you are. Not immune to, I'm not, I'm not resistant to. Yeah, Purple Mirror is based on an urban legend. 
Yeah, I agree that Devil Survivor doesn't really feel like Fire Emblem. Like, it's not really Fire Emblem to me. It's more, um... Uh, it's hard to describe, but it's more Shin Megami Tensei just with a grid. Um... Do I guess, or do I just go for it? Uh, I'm gonna just... Va oh, hang on a minute! Revolution affects everyone on the field, right? So I have increased critical rate too, don't I? Well, didn't get any criticals there. I'm getting insanely lucky here. These enemies should probably be critting me more often, but no, they're not. I shouldn't jinx this, but, uh... Weak to Slash doesn't actually sound very good. So I think it's the only zeal I've got. Yeah, I, um... I... I definitely sucked at Devil Survivor the first time I played it, I'll just say. I, I sucked at it quite a lot. Yeah, most... Like, honestly, like, something that I've found by playing tactical RPGs... Most tactical RPGs are not like Fire Emblem. And that's why Fire Emblem's gameplay means so much to me. Because Fire Emblem is very unique. There is not a lot like it. It's not fire. Yeah, I'm nervous too. Okay, it's resistant to fire. Huh, okay. Don't crit me now, because I am i won't have a good time. Um, I'm going to mazeo everything. Yeah, no, the dice enemies do like using, like, luck-based things. So it's either... Uh, I could actually be ice, to be honest. Oh, I don't even have Buffalo on anything. Uh, I'm gonna try... No! Maybe it's light or dark? Maybe. You're shocked. Also, Twins is shocked. Nice grammar there, game. Uh, uh, um, they're usually immune to ailments. I guess now I can try my light and dark gems. So let's try Makoha gem. A lot of things in this area are weak to light. It was not light. Is it dark? It might I'm. I'd be surprised if it was dark. No. Maybe it doesn't even have a weakness at all. Who's next? Ah, uh, this could be a problem, actually. This could be a big, big problem. Let's see. I think I need to heal, and I need to... Never mind. Uh... Oh, wait. Wait, what? Oh, they're weak to light. But the dice is not. Maybe the dice is weak to strike. But I need to heal, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, I will answer the product gem myself. Has no weaknesses, BTW. Okay, then. Yeah. Makes sense. They kind of want you to critical it. In fact, they just explain criticals earlier, so that's probably the reason why. Uh, but still. Yeah, I actually... See, see the thing about... Fun oh, you're shocked. Uh... But I don't think Shock is auto-crit anymore, which is... Okay, well, it definitely crit that time. But weak to non-existent gun attack. Well, Pierce would probably be the equivalent of gun in this game. Yeah, no, 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 I, I agree with you, Manu, that it has no weaknesses because the game wants you to crit it. But hey, we won. I don't think we even lost anybody in that fight. Which is kind of impressive. Magaru. But yeah, so I tried playing the demo of Triangle Strategy once, and I didn't like it. Um, although it did do that thing that I hate, when they made the demo harder than the actual game, which just sort of sucks, but like... Uh, like... Yeah. So... I... Uh, the, the thing with... Like, I feel like Triangle Strategy is more similar to, um... Yeah, Shock's not auto-crit anymore. Okay, they nerfed it, because it was kind of broken. But like... Uh, triangle Strategy, like, I... I played the first demo, I got completely wrecked because I treated it like Fire Emblem. I played the second Triangle Strategy, I played the second Triangle Strategy demo, and it was like, okay. But like, it had too many slow cutscenes. I know it's literally just the beginning of the game, but still. And the voting sections were a little weird because like, 
you could still fail to persuade people even if you did all the right things. What? I know I'm not really paying it main character in a fighting manga. Yes, yes he is. Akihiko is One Punch Man confirmed. Um, but like, so okay. Here's the thing with triangle strategy to me. With every battle, I can feel myself growing stronger. Every battle, a chance to grow. Kind of fitting for, um... Okay, good, that is a warp point. They wouldn't be that mean. Honestly, I kind of like the double, the back-to-back -back mini boss because it's just kind of funny, but yeah. Um... So, okay. Like, after it came out, Triangle Strategy, I looked up plot summaries, and let's just say I was not impressed, and I basically gave that game a hard pass. And what I sum it up as is, I like to think that, like, I thought that the, the, I, like, the, the, like, ideology system was really cool in theory. Like, in particular, I thought the idea of, um, of, like, utility. The idea of, like, a, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few as, like, a root concept. Like, that would be kind of interesting. I, I thought, like, like, being, like, yeah, like, I thought that was a cool idea. The problem is, I looked up the endings, and it basically turns out that you- I sum it up like this. Utility, morality, and liberty were just fancy ways of saying law, neutral, and chaos, respectively. And that just made me go, nope, don't want any part of this. Welcome to the Velvet. Yeah, I've heard of Unicorn Overlord, but like, like, I'm still not sure. Like, I'm, again, like, Rage the Nerd says, was it grey morality, blah. I'm just, I'm just kind of done with grey morality strategy RPGs at this point, and I'm worried that that's what Unicorn Overlord is going to be. But, anyway. Like, honestly, like, Yakuza ah, Like a Dragon, I feel, is grey morality done right. There's a lot of grey morality in that game, but the party members are still clear-cut heroes. And, like, Ichiban still has a very genuine... Like, Ichiban literally helps an old lady across the street. I'm not even exaggerating, he literally does that. Like, it's just, like... Yeah. The chat's a little bit delayed, but, like, the thing that I find the most hilarious about Triangle Strategy is what the morality ending is. The morality ending is taking the one sympathetic faction and just saying screw this and leaving the continent with them and leaving every one other faction to just kill each other. That's the morality ending and that sums up a lot. Please choose the personas you would like to fuse. It is a special persona you desire, is it not? What kind of persona? Like, like Ichiban is like ex Yakuza by like that point. It's weird. He still kind of considers himself one in spirit, but he's definitely no longer one. Uh, I, oh no, I can get a moon persona. <laughs> all the time you need to oh no, I can get a moon persona. Can I pass quad elements onto you? Oh, you have two weaknesses though, which sucks. Is it just me or does this look like a guy in one of those cheap kid skeleton costumes? To inherit. Yeah, the power of spicy kimchi. That, like, that's great. I, I love that. It's okay, I have quad have element blessed. skeleton bird man. Unfortunately, it's moon arcana. And yeah, the true. And then, of course, triangle strategy also has a hidden true ending root. Um, and of course, uh, the big bad of the true ending root is the the cartoonishly evil church. Because why wouldn't it be? Um, that's another reason why I gave up on triangle strategy, but okay, yeah. Anyway, yeah, um, yeah, he, Ichiban is like EY. The really funny thing is, I don't even acknowledge that Ichiban is the same voice actor as EY. It's just, it feels like such a different character to me. Uh, Nigimitama. Oh, I can get Tam Lin now. I don't really need Omoe Kane, or this Unicorn. Is what do you wish to Only one skill slot, but I'll take Light. No new powers have been well, well, uh, well. I don't need Lovers for ages though, unfortunately. So I've got to be careful about filling up my Personas here. <laughs> Tam Lin also has very weird history if you look up its, uh, its actual mythology.
Someone said they need to get back to Octopath. Uh, yeah. So I've also got another kind of sad tangent is that like I've started playing Octopath recently and I don't know, I'm Octopath 2? I'm just a little bit, I'm still a bit iffy on it personally. Like I, I don't think I'm really enjoying it as much as I hoped. And I can theorize about that later, but like, yeah. What kind of persona? And I think Gurulu do does look pretty good. It's just, yeah. Uh, uh, I need, I need, I need strength and chariot. Although I probably can't afford to get rid of Aramitama now that I have Chimera. This would be a wise choice. Yes, Tamlin mythology exists. I'm not going to talk about it on, on this stream because it might get me demonetized uh, if the music doesn't do that anyway. Uh, Rakunda. Todge Slash is a fairly rare skill. I'll take that. Argy Boo. It seems no new power. <laughs> a new power emerges. Like, okay, like, I, I'll go on. If I have time, I'll talk about what I'm feeling about Octopath. It's just... <sighs> I, I wish I liked it more, but like every single time that I tr that I think to myself, okay, I'm gonna play more Octopath 2 today, I end up playing um uh like a dragon instead. One time I even played Advance Wars um War Room instead. Powerful. Now I like the the Buddha's War for Warrior Attendance, so oh crit rate boost, yes, I want that. What and Orotaru Kaja. So I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna take Rakunda. I'm gonna take Dodge Slash, I guess. I'm gonna take it seems Med you have been Medea. I don't really even like Rebellion. Yeah, I've heard Octopath 2 is better than Octopath 1, and yeah, I love the music in Octopath. The music is good, the boss fights are good, the characters are good, the art style grew on me. The problem I have with Octopath is it feels like there's just too much reading words and not enough actual gameplay for my liking. The, the strange thing to me is that, like, uh... Please choose the okay, I need to get rid of Chimera. Like um... I think I'll go back in and try and pick up some Shuffle Time Personas, and then we'll, we'll see what Very we get. Well. Um... But, like, uh... Yeah, so... I have the most fun in Octopath when I am simply exploring the world in between character stories. And that's really weird because I normally don't like open world games. But like, Octopath to me is at, at its most fun when, um, Snuff Soul is decent, um, when I'm not doing character stories. Apart from boss fights, um, but like the boss fights are amazing. I love the way they integrate the boss fights into the story. Like Octopath has some of my favorite, like, um, oh, someone wants to try Advance Wars sometime? Do it. Do it. Do it. Advance Wars is an amazing game series. Definitely. Like, I always recommend people get into Advance Wars. It's really good, especially if you like Fire Emblem, because like a lot of the best parts of modern Fire Emblem actually came from Advance Wars, believe it or not. But anyway, sorry. So, so like, it's, it's hard to describe, but like, so the problem I have with Octopath 2 is that, um, that looks like it's worth opening. is that the, um, the story segments do not feel that interesting gameplay-wise. And that might sound a little weird, but bear with me. So like, in Persona, when you're walking your hey. is that the katana that Elizabeth needs? Is that a Katana Elizabeth needs? Oh my gosh, it might be a Katana that Elizabeth needs. I'm going back to to the warp now. Um, but like, okay, so um, I really hope the chat isn't messed up because I haven't sent any chat messages for a little while. Uh, just hoping the chat isn't messed up. Okay, good. There's chat messages. Um, okay. So, like, when you're in the overworld in... Good it was day. the katana I needed. Yes, I can knock Are that off the list. Wonderful. Makoha. That's okay. Very well. Yeah, maybe it's a... It's a, it's a like, a, a guaranteed drop. Junpei still had his original weapon. That... That is a travesty. Oh, everyone tells us the original armor, too. That's an even worse travesty. Yeah, 
Yeah, huge PTSD from that one one sword. Uh, but okay. So, so like, I'm sorry that it's taking me a while to go through this tangent, but like, it's it's really hard for me to describe. But like, yeah, I know you still keep the katana as well. So, like, okay, in Persona, when you are walking around town, not fighting things, there's things to do. There's social links. There's town activities. There's raising stats. There's a lot of interesting gameplay that happens during, like, story sequences. We don't see that kind of chest often. Let's not pass it up. And... And in Octopath, though, the only thing you what do in the story the sequences are go to town, talk to NPC, watch cutscene, talk to other NPC, watch cutscene, Repeat until there's a dungeon. Go to dungeon. Fight boss. That is every single story segment in Oh God No. In Octopath Traveler and Oh God No. Um, for those who don't know, remember that uh, wind corrosion enemy that I was talking about in um, in Persona Q? This is that enemy. Thankfully, it doesn't do it here, but what it does do is, I believe this is the first enemy to use Moodle. So we are at risk of being insta-killed right now. So that's a thing. Uh, I do know that the Reaper chases you across multiple floors now. Yeah, anybody who's played Persona Q despises these enemies. They are like hands down one of the worst enemies in Persona Q. Uh, I'm gonna try Light. Because I get the feeling that Light is uh, good on these. Oh no, that's weak to dark though. I'm gonna try. Yeah, I thought it was light. Yeah, I love how the chat also has PTSD. Yeah, I was iffy about Sea of Stars too. Uh, I got even more iffy on Sea of Stars when I found out that, like, its story is heavily tied to another indie game that I haven't played. Uh, but, like, I played the Sea of Stars demo and I didn't actually like it all that much. Like, I actually thought the battle system was a little bit... Like, the weird thing was, I liked the dungeons and puzzles in Sea of Stars. I didn't like the battle the battles. So, like, weirdly, I felt like I'd enjoy it more if it was a Zelda game. Um, and it was just puzzles and no fighting. Or, like, no RPG battles. Oh, we've... We've learned how to split up. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hey. Oh, boy. <laughs> Yeah, let's send Yukari out on her own! Okay. Yeah, I remember this typically ending very badly in the original game, especially... Well, it's funny if the Reaper is around, because you can use your party members as distractions. <laughs> Give me like, hey Reaper, go for us! Yeah, Sea of Stars is a good platformer in the wrong genre. That's how I'd sum up my feelings on the demo. But admittedly, I've only played the demo, so I might, I might be, I might be wrong about that. I've heard good things about Sea of Stars, but like, as somebody who really likes um, Chrono Trigger, I'm not really sure it lives up to Chrono Trigger for me. Have I tried the Sui Koden games? I've heard they have like over a hundred party members, and that worries me, me a lot. Oh, Argyle out jam's cool. Hope we don't run into any creeps here. Uh, for some reason we... Oh, wait a minute. We didn't even go to the next... Are we... I'm confused. Are we oh, on the next floor? Pick up something from watching me fight. Well, that was... Yeah, I forgot you were far. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm actually dead. I am 100% dead. I mean, Mudo looks cool, but I'm I'm dead. Yeah, I don't trust anybody on their own in this game, but I'm dead. I'm dead. I am... Unless I get insanely lucky, I'm dead. Nope, I'm dead. Well, I... It's, it, it, it wasn't that long since my last save. I had to die in Tartarus someday. Note to self, always ambush enemies. Always ambush enemies. 
Uh... Yeah, I... I saved, it's fine. I saved fairly recently. Uh, yeah, I should be fine. Salut. Yeah, of course the first death was from Phantom Mages. Because why wouldn't it be? Oh, please tell me that I saved after the fusions. I... Please tell me that I saved after the fusions. I did, good, okay. But yeah, you know what? I'm going to use that, that Korha skill card on something better. Where are my skill cards? My Korha, okay. So, let me give this to somebody who doesn't die to Dark. Uh... I mean, all your skills are pretty good on it. Uh, you know what? I'm going to get rid of Zeo. Okay, good. Now I have a better option. But yeah, of course I died a fan. Like, I was just saying, I was just saying that Phantom Mages tend to kill you because they're the first thing that has Mudor. So like, yeah. I'm also very glad that I, uh, I, I saved after giving the Katana request, uh, didn't I? Uh, I hope I did anyway. Yeah, he has the Juzumaru. Yeah, I, I handed in that request. Uh, Gurulu is the actual name of Gur. It was Gur before, but that was a mistranslation. We don't see that kind of chest often. Let's not pass it up. So yeah, that was a, a mistranslation originally. But yeah, um, someone mentioned this a while back. I, what the hell? I actually what do. I actually do think that, like, from what I saw of Sea of Stars' demo, There's it did feel like its writing was a little bit not great either. It felt like, and this is like, like, I don't mean any, like, I really don't mean any offense by this at all, but it felt like it was written by a non-native English speaker to me. Like, the, the, the dialogue just felt like it was not, it didn't sound like natural English, like the way that somebody would speak. So, again, I'm, I don't mean any offense by that, but that's the vibe that I got. Yeah, Gurulu does null dark, but it's weak to light. I wanted to have, I wanted to have light on a persona that was weak to neither. Uh, also, cool that Hortensia and Rosado got announced for heroes. I like that they've got, like, emblem heroes now. That's cool. Yes, we have claimed our vengeance. Oh, uh, oh. I, was this, wasn't this a mini-boss in the original game? I think this is a mini-boss, and I remember it because they killed me. I remember specifically that they killed me before. Oh, yeah, you're probably definitely fire. Uh, yep, Akiko does not like ice. Uh, let's heal Aki. Please don't... Okay, good. It would have been really funny if, if Akiko got hit again, though. Yeah, I, I, I like, like, I like Hortensia because, like, Hortensia is a character I never expected to like. Like, I expected to hate Hortensia, and then she turned out to be one of the deepest characters in that game. And I always love it when that happens. Um, like, it happened to me with Seda from Three Houses. Uh, never expected to like him, and I ended up really liking him. Um, and, like, uh, I'm sure there's been someone in Persona like that, but, like, yeah. Anyway. I mean, the hand enemies do kind of flip you off in their casting animation. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the dancing hands were like one of my first deaths in my original Persona 3 uh, FES playthrough, so yeah. Look at it. Around like a, clown. a clown that previously killed me. Uh, please. Like, part of me actually wants this to be the four. It is four. Okay. It's time 
for revenge. Oh, they're going uh, next, though. Uh, they're going next. Do I have a light item? I do. Okay, good. They come up. Oh, I really want to use purifying rice. I, I really want to use purifying rice and insta-kill one of them. That would be amazing. I'm going to do this, though. Oh, Morvia is Grand Hero Battle? That makes sense. Uh, I hate you, I hate you. Watch them kill me without even me being weak to them. Like, that would be just, just perfect. Uh, uh, in this situation, we hopefully don't die. Oh, there was one left. I am going for absolute overkill. I don't care that a single attack will finish it off. I'm using instant death on it, because it deserves it. There we go. They deserve that. Oh, and of course I leveled up out of it. Alright then, moving on. Moving on. I I've finally gotten used to seeing these faces everywhere. Wait, did it just look at us? You will never be used to the domain of an Uncos, Yukari. This is the domain of an Uncos, seriously. I love how my face touching head cannon was kind of true in multiple ways. Because an, an Uncos is a giant face, and then also, um, Corrin canonically is obsessed with face touching in, um, Engage. Oh, can we go up those stairs? Uh, we can, but should we? That is the question. Hey, let's. It does kind of suck that nobody from Engage won, um, won, um, uh, yeah, um, choose your legends. Uh, we don't see that kind of chest often. Let's not pass it up. It's always weird that that voice clip doesn't match the text, though. That's a one-way teleporter, but there's no need to head back yet. <laughs> Well, I mean, you I my own in a fight look pretty rough. Damn well, don't you think? I always knew I had talent. Okay, Run that's the stairs. The stairs. I think I actually should heal. I, I, I fell out of Heroes a long time ago, but, like, I would have liked more Choose Your Legends, um, Engage representatives. It's just because, like, you know, oh, okay. Here's your chance to attack. I think you're ice weak, if I remember correctly. So let's try Buffalo. No, you're the opposite of ice weak. Uh, right then. Uh, wind maybe? Yeah, it's wind. Okay, good. Yeah, that was the problem. Like, Engage had more votes. It's just that, like, Three Houses characters get stand for more. So, like, Felix and Bernadetta won. I didn't vote either. I I'm not really into heroes anymore, but it's just it's just kind of a thing. Uh, all right, my Kana person is still going. Did we just get a Balloon of Amity? That just makes me think of uh, Puyo Puyo. Puyo Puyo Tetris makes Amity a really funny character, honestly. And she gets very, very like nice ship tees with uh, Sig. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, the, this was a mini boss in the original as well. I remember you. Huh. Yeah, I. <sighs> I really don't want to start, like, like, I think Soul Dancer was a boss in the original. Yeah, I don't want to start, oh, I just realized my health is not great right now. Like, by merciless standards, my health is not looking too good. Uh, potentially could be Ice, but like, I want a Medea right now, just in case. Magaru. Oh, well, there, there goes Junpei. Oh, and I'm weak to win. There potentially goes me. I mean, at least I know not to try wind on them. Oh, maybe these are dark or, or light. 
I'm gonna try dark. Let me see. Uh. It is not dark. I like that line, the hero never gives up. I oh don't kill me, please. Oh I'm yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm I am a hundred percent dead. Unless by some miracle these things are weak to pierce. Nope. Okay, yep, yeah, I'm dead. Uh I mean Deed and Prey? I wish I had a, a an escape gem right now. Don't equip uh, Wind Week Personas against these eagles. Ever. Yeah, I think they were weak to Pierce originally, it's just that Yukari missed them, and that's a problem. Oh, they are weak to Pierce still. Good, okay. Uh, the problem is my accuracy is not the best right now, and I probably should heal. Don't miss, please. Oh, yeah, I had to jinx it. Well, at least I recovered from that. And I think I... Do I have a... Yeah, I have a, I have a pierce skill. But I'm on my win week persona, aren't I? Yeah, I am, so I... Well, that is problematic. Uh, I may be able to do this still. I may be able to do this still. Oh, two of them are still alive. Uh, one's going next, and don't miss me. Thank you. Oh, that could have been really bad if it had used a wind attack. Okay. Okay, yeah, that was not good. Yeah, Yukari is just the queen of I won't miss misses. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, Iori is not doing well right now. I am supposed to like you, Yukari. Why are you doing this to me? Uh. Okay, where we at? Uh. I might be able to take... See, that's the thing with Tart Tartarus. The whole thing with Tartarus is risk versus reward, and knowing when to push your luck and when to back out. Uh, you are wind and you are... Zero. I should... This shouldn't be too bad. I should say that now. Yeah, it's funny how they made some of the original Tartarus bosses into mini-bosses in this version... Into regular enemies in this version. Pull the Devil's Trigger. Yes, always cast Sukukaja on Yukari. Yeah, I love the ambush theme in Reload. It's 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 really good. It's one of the few things that makes me like actually like prefer it over Baby Baby Baby. Uh I sort of want Oh, I already have Unicorn. Keep losing track of which personas I already have. Yeah, it really is a balloon of Amity. Cause like, oh, I'm gonna love using this on Phantom Mages. Um, but that like, went well. liking someone for their character and gameplay are two completely different things. Me with Timera. Me with Timera. Honestly, like, well something that is kind of interesting uh, to me is that like, when I made my video on, um, I think I'll stop this run of Tartarus at the next teleporter. Um, but like, when I made my comp compilation video of my engaged bios, I was surprised to find how many Temera, like, vocal Temera defenders there were. I thought that most, like, quote unquote, hardcore players didn't like her. But, but at the same time, like, like I have to stress, I like Temera a lot, and, and I use her in most of my playthroughs. It's just that I, I just kind of wish that her gimmick could have been done a little better. Yeah, that blue one was a Twilight Fragment. I had a feeling it was something special. Yeah, Rosado's weird. Like, he has some of the best growths in the game. Like, it's like they tried to do an Est, but with is a pre promote, which is kind of weird. He's still usable. Like, everyone in, in, in Engage is usable. Oh, this is, like, my worst conceivable matchup. I hate this now. Oh, I don't want... I... 
I don't like this at all. I really don't like this. Um... Yeah, I like Edward, personally. I, I honestly think Edward's better than people give him credit for. But, like, I... Tamara... Ugh, again, the, the, the joke bow is not the best, honestly, but still. I mean, I, I have the... You know what? Let's go for another insta-kill, because they deserve it. Yeah, the problem with Tamara is that she can't transfer Sandstorm into other classes. If she could, she'd be way better. Yeah, people tend to hate Edward now. Because people are now just all about base stats over growth in Radiant Dawn. To me, Edward is still the most fun Swordmaster in that game. Slash True Blade. Oh yeah, Shinnan and Radiant Dawn. Great, great character in gameplay. Awful person, but great character in gameplay. It sucks that when I tried to use Rolf, uh, just out of protest, um, great one, Yukari, I needed that. Uh, when I tried to use Rolf out of protest, Shinnan just got god tier level ups and Rolf sucked. Five misses for Yukari, that's understandable. I mean, honestly, Shinnan as a character, like, he's, 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 he's a, he's a dick and he knows it. Like, it's kind of, he's a fine character type, really. It's just, I don't like the fact that he's an open racist in a game like that. Well, I mean, you know, anyone being an open racist in anything is bad, but, you know, you get the idea. The fact that Shinnan doesn't learn anything about racism in a game like that, that's what I mean. Oh, really? Uh... I mean, Rolf has a ridiculous strength growth in, in Radiant Dawn, which is fun. It's just that his bases are worse than Shinnan, but, like, Rolf is decent. And, like, basically, archers are pretty good in Radiant Dawn. Yeah, it's the Toy Bow. The Toy Bow must be, like, a high-power, bad accuracy weapon. Yeah, the thing about Shinnan is that if you get his support with Sanaki, he, he says something like that his mother never hugged him as a child. So, like, there's actual development on Shinnan, it's just that, like, it's really hard to see. Running low on yeah, the, the Phantom Mages heard me talking about how terrifying they are in Q, practice? and decided, Oh, you were talking about us, huh? I don't trust Yukari to hit. I'm going to switch over to Garing Stu for Pierce. Uh, they probably give me worse trouble in Q. Uh, it's, uh, I, I, I'm weird. I don't really like using Mia in Radiant Dawn, only because back in the day, like, there used to be a Cold War between Mia fans and Edward fans, and I fell on the Edward side, so that's just kind of trauma from those days. Yeah, Tartarus, this is just everyone pick on me day in Tartarus. They did not approve of the Akihiko memes. Uh, I suppose yes, but first let's grab this chest. Oh, Q water. I may need that. I didn't even have the stairs on this floor yet. Yeah, the birds I think have high agility. Oh uh, yeah, it's honestly it's very hard for Rolf or Shinnan to get transfer bonuses because Shinnan kind of sucks in Path of Radiance. Uh, he's good early game, but like late game he sucks. Perhaps. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna head back. I just want to find the next teleporter, and I know those are gonna be famous last words. Last words of many a Tartarus explorer. I just want to go to the next teleporter. Just one more floor. Oh, yeah, I kind of did use Mia, didn't I? Oh, no! Oh, I've heard things about this boss. Yeah, um, if they're giving you a, tutori a tutorial on buffs before a boss in a Shin Megami Tensei spin-off, that's bad. Um, I don't want to do this. I want to go. I've heard really bad things about this boss. Like, really, really bad things about this one.
If it's what I think it is, I've heard very bad things about it. So, um, I'm gonna... I think this would might be a good time to leave Tartarus. Yeah, I like the Swordmasters in Radiant Dawn because, um, like, it's one of the few games where Swordmasters are actually Welcome good. Yeah, um, yep, I know, this is, this boss is really bad. I, um, oh, now I pro now I think I, now I feel like I should fight it on, on this stream ah, just for lols. Uh, yeah, I've heard really, really bad things about this boss. So, yeah, uh, I don't need Chimera or Archangel, I, I don't think so. Choice. What do you wish to so inherit? I can go, uh, I need Korha. And I need... I'll take Pierce. It appears it will receive a... Well then, shall we begin? Oh, oh, I'm getting an accident. I can't skip this. I'm getting an accident. Okay, apparently this is hilarious. So we're going to find out why this is so funny. Okay, you know what? That is, in my opinion, the funniest fusion accident animation I've seen in the series. Yes, including all of the ones in the Persona 5 spin-offs. Looks like it did not turn out the way we expected. <laughs> hmm. Uh, now I have to give up Tam Lin for that. This I mean, I don't need Tam Lin right now, or Unicorn, so why not? Let's go... I mean, this way I can get Hummer. But no, I kind of still want Korha. It appears it will receive a, <laughs> a new power emerges. Like, that is just like, yeah, just, just like... Anyway, like, it's, it's hard to explain, but like, just the fact that he just, like... The the, the 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 butterfly fusion just happens to him off screen still. Oh, I forgot that you had a heart item. Oh, and I'm getting it now. Jack tights, birthday presents. That just reminds me of how in like one of the Marvel vs. Capcom games, happy birthday is the fandom term for getting like two characters KO'd at the same time. And a happy new year is every character going down at once. Uh. This persona is powerful. Do I need Rakshasa? No, I don't think I need Rakshasa. McCoy is devil in this game? I guess that kind of fits. Have you oh, and I can actually go for Fortuna, but I don't need Fortune for a really long time. So I kind of don't think this is a good idea. Should so probably register a few personas, yeah. Will you register Reg it to the you... Oh yeah, no, I, I, um, yeah, Biako. I got a Biako fusion accident into another Biako, and I still don't know how that happens. Is overriding all registered. Yeah, hard items are a little different in Reload. It makes sense. Will you register it to all registered? Which is a shame because it means that Unicorn doesn't give you Alicorn anymore. Uh, Alicorn not meaning a unicorn with wings. Alicorn actually means, um, a, um, like, the material that the unicorn's horn is made of. So I've got, got Magician, I've got Emperor, I've got Chariot, I've got Moon, uh, I have, I need Strength. So I have to get Valkyrie back out. I need Hierophant. This is your progress so far. This is your progress so far. So I need you. So you'll be summoning this one? Very well. It's yours. Uh, Magician, Hier Emperor, Hierophant, Chariot, Strength, Moon. Uh, what else do I need? I, I... Oh, I need Hermit, obviously. I need Hermit. So let's this take back Hermit. This one? Very well. It's yours. I'm just trying to think about which of these I go for. Yeah, no, I love this fusion accident animation. I'm so glad I'm blind on it. I was blind on it. I may need justice. This, this is this acceptable? I may need that soon. Be your inner strength. 
Are you finished? Yes, we got our brain back. We now we can not die to Tartarus enemies. Yeah, it's weird. Like, Fel Felicorn is the official term for, um, for, um, uh, Falcon Knight mounts in Fire Emblem. It only shows up in supports, but I personally find it a bit of a weird term. Uh, but it is the official term in Fire Emblem. Uh, yeah, money is fairly tight. I can sell my materials, though, and I have a part-time job. But, okay. I'm so sorry, but I'm gonna go back yes. to the real world. I know that we were right in front of a really infamous boss, but I'm gonna go back to the real world. Oh yeah, P4, you need justice for so long because Nanako is like, for, it takes forever to, to rank up. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, hey Kenji. Um, I think Kenji's ready to rank up anyway. Oh, I didn't go to the fortune teller! Dang it, okay, I have to remember that next Tartarus. Whoops! <laughs> uh, I thought I remember because it sounds like a My Little Pony character, but okay. No school today. Yes. Uh, priorities. The home shopping channel. You're back, what did you miss? I almost died in Tartarus again, but somehow we made it. It's amazing commodity. I'm good. 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 <laughs> it's okay, now's a good time for a change of pace. Oh no, it's Egg Dragoon again. Uh, Umugi Water. Oh, uh, that's gonna cost me almost all my money. But all-purpose apron is good. <laughs> oh, I'll get content with or without that boss, trust me. I will get content. We've already had a lot this, this, this episode. I should probably do Hermit today. But let's see if anyone else is available. Oh, all couples available, because of course they are. Oh, Nozomi's available, because of course he is. Tanaka the Blood Edge, yeah, that's kind of true. I sort of want to rank up Hermit, though. Oh, yeah, you did miss a fusion accident. The fusion accident animation is so good in this game. Oh, don't worry, we'll be giving Tanaka all my money later on. Weapon fusion is still a thing, but I think it's different. It'll show up later on. On the next episode of Phoenix Ranger, for the man R. Episode 14, Love Bomb! Sometimes the only strategy for victory is an abject apology! Clearly you have seen board meetings with Ichiban Kasuga. Yeah, ha happy birthday is PC plus one assist. Merry Christmas equals PC plus both assists. Yeah, I, I, I love that in Marvel vs. Capcom. It's like, um, it happened because somebody, like, had two characters KO'd at the same time on their birthday, and their opponent said, Happy Birthday! And then the meme was born. And then Happy New Year is all six characters KO'd in the same attack. Uh, yeah, let's do more Hermit. Yes, Featherman, my beloved. Uh, I'll need to see where Ichiban and Sayako goes. I hear it's pretty much canon in Infinite Wealth. The weird thing is, like, I had a headcanon that the romance, like, cheating quest, um, in, um, Like a Dragon was all in Ichiban's head, because he's not really the kind of person who'd do that, and I think that's actually canon. I was on Tefone with my mom. Whatever, whenever we talk, it's always the same. <laughs> uh, I forget. I, I, ah, uh, was this the one that gave the most, the most points? Oh yeah, no, I remember this response. <laughs> That one clip of Ken and Chun-Li, is that the perfect parry? Because that's really good. Why is everyone being all sexist these days? 
I mean, these days in the game, but also in real life, but that's another issue entirely. <laughs> but there was no effect. La Mayonade. Yeah, I remember this people would people used to freak out about this line here. Like, this, believe it or not, this used to be one of the biggest meme lines in Persona. Not really sure why, but it was. Like, I don't admit, there, there's, I, we'll get to it later, there is definitely one part of Hermit that does not age well at all, but, um, yeah. Oh, right, this does unlock Tanaka. Yeah, I was wondering about that. So I think they actually changed it as well, because, like, in the original, she said that, like, uh, said that, um, he sounded like a woman. And I always found that description weird, because in every time Tanaka has been voice acted, he's never sounded particularly feminine. Like, even in the Persona 4 anime in Japanese, he does not sound feminine. So I guess that's something they, that they gave up on. So I'm glad they removed that line. Oh boy, uh, the next battle we're going to have in Tartarus is going to be a big one. It's going to be a very big one. Oh no, exam results coming back tomorrow. <sighs> oh, this is going to end badly. Oh, just news, okay. So, uh, calendar, when is the next full moon? It's the 8th, okay. So it's still going to be a little while off, about three weeks. Should probably make a save here. So what is... Nothing, uh, looks like Tanaka is not at Polonia Mall. Yeah, we're gonna spend the we're gonna um yes feel the wrath of Mitsuru. And that's just stat bonuses. Are we really just gonna have to do burgers? Well firstly I need to unload my items here. Give me money, Liam O'Brien, I need it. Because I'm not gonna get exam I'm not gonna get an advance on my allowance without badly I did on exams. Give me money, Liam O'Brien. Alright, I'll take that. Thank you, Liam O'Brien. Finished? Come back soon. And we'll see you again, Liam O'Brien. Oh, Tanaka is there. But it's going to cost a lot of money, and I... Mm, uh, I can't see Tanaka. Huh. But, like, yeah, it, I, I don't want to start Tanaka. You have plenty of time to do Tanaka socially. Like, oh, oh, he needs more charm, too. Yeah, that makes sense. So, what do we do then? Do we just do burgers? Do we do karaoke? Or... <laughs> yeah, uh, to be honest, I'm not hugely proud of my Fates videos. Uh, I, I might want to redo Conquest one day, because it's just like, I don't know. Max Charm is Yukari. I know Max Charm is Yukari. I'm just gonna drink coffee. Oh yeah, he doesn't need a matching persona. And yeah, like, like, hey, I had a feeling we get level three charm. Oh, speaking of which, I need to check out the. Ho oh wait, no, I don't have enough academics for the home ec room for Bebe, because you need, you, I think you need level two academics to be able to read French. Oh, this is bad. Um, I was a bit too angry in my old Fates vids. I also claimed that it was a blind Let's Play, and I actually got spoiled on a lot. Like, I got spoiled on who the final boss was, I got spoiled on Elise dying, I got spoiled on how Ryoma died, and I tried to fake my reactions there. 
the Ryoma chapter as well, I was just really, really angry. Like, just way too angry. It's just, in general, I, I'm, I don't know. Like, I hate, had some funny moments, but overall, it's not my favorite thing I've done. Yes, his charm is regaining. Oh god, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. Please just don't be the bottom. I failed miserably, okay. Huh. Interesting. Does that give you any punishments? Or do you just miss out on charm? I've been, I just been I've been neglecting academics too much. Okay, time for class. I wonder if I could have saved myself if I didn't use the URL and instead had that final study session. Oh boy, kanji dictation. That was what I really sucked at back at university. Yeah, all of the female dorm mates need a max stat. It's kind of a thing. Uh, yes, I'm, I agree with you, Toriyumi. I very much agree with you. We need to stay awake in class every day from now on. <laughs> we need it. It'd be so funny if this actually gave me level 2 academics. Oh, come on game, at least give me that. Yeah, I missed one of the study sessions because I used a URL. I didn't realize they took time. They spent time. Well, my score was terrible, but it will get better later. I got one question wrong. I got three out of four right, and I had only rank one academics. Yeah, it's okay. It's not like your entire future depends on your high school in Japan or anything. Uh, oh, Hitatoshi's available today. Why is Nozomi available all the freaking time? So it's Hitatoshi or Kaz. I think, should I go for Kaz? I think I will go for Kaz. Oh, Chariot's only ranked 2. Yeah, I need to go for more Chariot. All right. Oh, wow, you were level 3 academics at this point? I have been spamming more courage and charm though. All right. One more time. I'll show you what I'm made of. Insert another Sonic reference here. Okay, this is the point where uh Kaz picks up some bad habits. Damn it. Seriously? Ooh, wow. Uh, Miyamoto. Come on, we're counting on you to be captain next year. The big meet's next year, so you've got time. Just don't overdo it. Hey, you. Uh, why don't you leave practice early and take him home? Oh, I thought that was Yuko for a second. <laughs> but it's actually Sorry. protagonist. What are you looking at? I'm fine. It's just, uh, my anemia's acting up. Of course. It's just, you know, a touch of anemia. Yeah, it's not like I could potentially never walk again or anything. God damn it. I can't do it. I can't lie to you. Look, the truth is, it's my knee. It hasn't felt right ever since that day you first came to practice. I tried medicine, I tried wrapping it, but the pain won't stop. Of course it will. But I can't afford to stop training, so I'll play through the pain. Next year, there's a national competition. Athletes from all over Japan will be there. The regionals don't hold a candle in comparison. And if I want to win, then I have to spend the next year training. A lot of guys on the team are nosy as hell. If they find out about my knee, they won't leave me alone. So please keep it a secret, okay? We gotta look out for each other. I mean, um, it's gonna be pretty hard to keep this a secret if you keep falling over. 
And this is only rank 3, by the way. So you know this is going to get worse. Yeah, don't do not do what Kaz is doing. Like, this whole thing is like bad, bad life advice. He does get better, but it does take a little while. Just like most Persona 3 social links. But yeah, I've heard people say that most of the Persona 3 social links are more like character studies on people's heading to the floors. Huh. Please tell me this isn't about exams. <laughs> no need to be so wary of me. It isn't anything important. I just wanted to show you something. And I just so happen to have the key to the rooftop. Hmm. Now then. Shall we go? This was definitely not in the original. He's gonna lock us on the roof and force us to listen to his puns. We're gonna end up being a pun scapegoat. Do you recall fighting that shadow here on the rooftop a little while back? Yes, I recall the fact that it was not a boss fight, and that made me very disappointed. Well, while cleaning up the aftermath, I happened upon some planters and gardening tools. Only slightly covered in blood, don't worry. Myself from setting up our own little yeah, they just had to put great vegetables into P3 too, didn't they? So, what do you think? Not too shabby, huh? Ah, you have impeccable taste. I'm glad my efforts didn't go unappreciated. Unfortunately, I can feel my back giving out after all that hard work. Do you happen to know a good chiropractor? But, I digress. There is, in fact, a reason I brought you here. I'd like you to use these planters however you see fit. Just as long as it doesn't spend time, I'm good. Although I did set them up, I'm afraid that I won't be able to tend to a garden as often as I like. I did mention it to Kirijo-kun, but it didn't catch on, I suppose, due to her upbringing. Besides, you're able to cook meals at the dorm, correct? Well, now you can grow your own vegetables for healthy eating. you think so it would mean a lot to me if you made yeah i like that the dorm roof is actually like a thing now that you can actually go to outside of cutscenes once you get started you'll find there's a lot that can be done of course you're free to do whatever you want raise crops of vegetables it won't take a different amount of time to grow you or your teammates can eat the vegetables scan benefits which are okay right so so Here's basically haru's confidant in five in right life. You should be able to purchase other types of seedlings around the city. Feel free to experiment. Well, that's everything. Yeah, okay, I'm now laughing at that chat post that some Asian made. I won't say it because it's a spoiler for Persona 4, but that's really it's funny. It's time to raise the roof and elevate this garden to new heights. And to top it off, eat your veggies, peas. I want to facepalm the uh, my own microphone right now. Uh, but okay, we now have a toilet fragment, and uh, let's see. I hope this doesn't use time. Ten days. Well, might as well get started. And then they magically grew that much. But okay, and we can actually explore the roof. That's really cool. But okay, what else is available? I don't want to talk to people in the dorm because I want to hide the fact that I totally failed my exam. So what else is available right now? Um, basically nothing. Okay then. Uh, I think I can part-time work though. I mean, I really should be getting academics up, honestly. Eat your veggies peas is a trophy name. Oh, Ikutsuki really did write those. Does not use time, that's good. I, I'm very much a fan of things that don't use time. Uh, charm? Nah, I'm not gonna go for charm. I really do need more academics, though. Because you do get a bigger boost in, in charm from, like, doing well in your exams from classmates. Oh, there's good fertilizer. I'm guessing that you can buy that fertilizer at the flower shop near the train station. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, we need to hide from Mitsuru. 
Oh, hey, nice. Okay, we're level four courage. So we're getting pretty close. Soon we will be able to focus on academics. Yeah, I know I, I do need to study. I'm just, I, I need to find that food that, you know, food that actually gives academics. Morning. <laughs> Not so great. Yes, we understand exactly what we're going through. Except we have more charm, so yeah. Yeah, I I I like I like going for courage. I don't know why, I just do. It's just what we did in the original. And uh, oh no, Kenji's available today. Uh who else is available today? Yeah, he jumped off the roof to avoid his dorm mates. Oh, none of the others are um rank up a ball. Uh, Bunkichin Mitsuko. I probably need to go for Kenji again. Yeah, rank 3 feels a little low for you. Oh, but Kaz is also available. Hmm. I have Magician, right? Yeah, I have Magician. Okay. So, unfortunately, we're spending more time with Kenji. But, uh, yeah, I want to try and get through this as quickly as I can. My least favorite social link in P3 besides hey, Moon? Coming, man. You mind waiting here That's a very hard question. I used to say Star, but Star, I feel... I, I People have said that's underrated now. So, I want to see if I end up liking Star more in this version. Sure, or why? Uh, I forget if one of those was better than the other. Okay, listen, don't freak out. I think I remember this rank though. I'm gonna go ask Miss Kano out, like right now. <laughs> Once again, that'll go well. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, we had to encourage him because it's a Persona 3 social link. Thanks, man. Always Time encourage people's bad habits. All right, this is it. Here I go. Oh man, listen to this. She said yes! I can't believe it, this is crazy! I was just about to ask her out, but then she asked me if I wanted a private lesson. Yeah, I remember this. So this is interesting, let's just say. For real, dude, I owe you. I owe you big time for hearing me out. Uh, jack o lantern was always called jack o lantern in Japanese. It was only ever called Pyrojack because of character limits. So in case you can't tell, she didn't actually say yes. <laughs> that private lesson was really just a house. private lesson. Oh man, I'm not ready for this. I shouldn't expect anything too crazy from the get-go, right? And again, she is an adult, so... Oh, forgot you were there. Sorry, but I got a jet. So, uh, yeah, enjoy your, your heartbreak, Kenji. Just saying. Oh, someone's least favorite is is um justice. Uh, I don't know. I'm justice is okay. I see you're back. Yeah, chariot in in femc is actually pretty good, as is hermit. No, I don't want to go to Tartarus again for a little while. Just saying. Oh no, not economics. The economy seems to be on the rise again. Well, that's probably gonna plummet eventually. Yes, yeah, Sun is still amazing, but we'll see. We'll see where that goes. Yeah, somehow Ryo is in love with Kenji. Why? Well, I mean, at least it's better than Astrid and Makalov. In that case. Just saying, at least it's better than Astrid and Makalov. Hello. Yeah, Persona 3's social links are a little iffy and like all over the place. Oh, I forgot about the crazy um show name for Kenji, but yeah. I was a little too distracted by the fact that he just did that. 
Yes, it would be nice if somebody joined. It's not like that's going to happen pretty soon, kind of-ish. That will probably happen next stream. Uh, the annoying thing is I want to get more academics, but at the same time, uh, part-time job is... A bit, there's a better day for part-time, but oh, okay, Tanaka's available. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I want to see if I can do the academics food, because I think I need it. I mean, Sun is fantastic. The problem is everybody likes Sun, so, like, it's not exactly, like, a hot take to like Sun. Oh, Wakatsu is where the academics food is, isn't it? Oh, but it's too crowded. Okay. Well, that's not great. Uh... Agakure Ramen. Oh, it's just charm. Nope, not doing that. There might be computer software that boosts academics. Actually, I think I actually do have one of those. Thief Bowls. Okay. It's too crowded right now. <laughs> oh, you can order takeout. Like, Kenji's social link gets a little better later on. But the fact that Kenji gets replaced by Junpei in the Fem C route is just like, you know, uh, that adds insult to injury. So, I mean, it is nice to see some people who, are, who like Kenji, though, because, you know, you gotta- I like finding people who like underrated characters. Like, I- I- this is- I'm not gonna really go into this too much because this is gonna be a ta a way long tangent for another time. And- and, and um... Don't really gonna go on too many tangents now because it's getting kind of late into the stream. But like, I felt very vindicated and I thought it was extremely, as the kids say, based that I recently found out that Ian Flynn's favorite friendship is ma magic character is Spike. And that's true of me too, so I'm, I'm kind of very surprised that, yeah. Anyway. I'm just gonna do this for a little more money. Yeah, Kenji's social link does get cathartic if you don't like him, by the way, just saying. Let's just say that he does get a very major reality check eventually. Hey, listen. I mean, pretty much everything from 100 game stores is usually fake. No way. I think it's that, like, it isn't so much that, like, Spike isn't liked, but more that, like, he's treated very weirdly by the show. He's sort of the, the Ryuji of that show, essentially. Like, he keeps getting abused for comedy all the time, and most fans hated that. But when he's handled well, he's really good. Like, like, um, um, Gauntlet of Fire is an amazing episode, still one of my favourite episodes of that whole show. One of the only good episodes of Season 6, in my opinion. Uh, but anyway, so today, Hidetoshi, Nozomi, old couple, uh, I kind of want to go old couple again. I kind of want to go old couple again. Well, oh yeah, Fortune in this game is like, yeah, it, it, it's okay. I wonder if voice acting is going to make Fortune better for me. It just, I really hope that one of the rank ups of Fortune is still the same, because it's kind of hilarious. Um, what show? Uh, oh, oh boy. Um, uh, yeah, I, I'm more open about liking this show now than I used to be, because the show is over. And, um, because the show's yeah, over I, and, like, it's waiting. not as contentious online, but My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. And yes, I know the name sounds really lame. I, and I knew the, the fandom is terrible, but I like that show because it was better than it had any right to be for being a show designed to sell toys. Like, the characters were pretty well written and it had some good stories. I just never engaged with the fandom because the fandom was terrible. 
wanted to tell you the good news as soon as possible. It's about a customer who came by. Yeah, I'm hoping that Keisuke is 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 compelling. I, I think his voice actor is pretty good. And yes, um, Eno, Spike did have an episode about deconstructing toxic masculinity. The problem was everybody misunderstood that episode as being about racism when it wasn't. Who do you think it was? Here's a hint. Signature. Might have been too vague. But yes, it was one of the organizers of the campaign to save the persimmon tree. Yeah, I've heard good things about the Ninja Turtles cartoons, especially the four kids one, shockingly. He said, let's protect the tree together. He's already gathered a number of signatures from students who are in our son's class. <laughs> what is the difference between these two? What is the difference between these two options? Everyone's banding together to honor the memory of our son. He really was loved by many. See, this I feel is a major theme of Persona 3, in that, like, even when people die, their legacy lives on in those who remember them. Of course. He was our proud son. I'm sure he's just as happy as we are. Keisuke's VA is the same as Adder and Reaper. Oh, that means he's Wazi in Trails. Let's go to GeckoCon right now. I have to tell my son the good news. That's my boy. <laughs> Music to my ears. <laughs> I've never been so excited to go for a walk before. Yeah, like, like, Jared, what basically happened is Lauren Faust, who only did the first two seasons, but Lauren Faust was a very good showrunner. Um, what essentially happened was that she was told to, like, make a show that was, like, merchandise different, and she's like, you know what, I'm going to, I'm gonna make this show genuinely good, and, like, put, like, heart into it, and it worked. Wow, we're at rank 8 already. Let's race to the persimmon tree. I won't lose, not even to a youngster like you. Oh, wow, child from Genshin Impact, that's an interesting role. Alright, dear, we'll be back. Thanks for watching the store! Yeah, I kind of need to watch 2003 Ninja Turtles. I also need to watch Justice League. I've heard the Justice League cartoon is very good from Overly Sarcastic Productions because she references that all the freaking time. I watched two episodes of Batman the Animated We're Series, uh, and that was it. Like, never really fully got into that as a kid. I only watched, like, the Robin's Backstory episode, which is good, and one of the Mr. Freeze episodes. Not his backstory, though. A different one. So dance. If you want to go ahead, we can do whatever I'm chilling on my bed. I'm not in my biz, so mind your own biz. Yeah, I've heard very good things about Justice League. Yeah, Hierophant is generally a social link that doesn't miss. Like, almost every Hierophant social link is good. Nice one. <sighs> yeah, I, I still love the thing in Robin's backstory where, like, um, they couldn't get away with showing the parents dying on screen, but I think it's so much more powerful that all you see is the rope snapping. Like, it just cuts to the, the broken rope. Because that says all it needs to. And it gets away with the senses. Like, it's it's genuinely it done really done. well. Yeah. The, th the thing that I always liked about, about Friendship is Magic is that, like, it correct. made me, it reminded me of all those shows I watched as a kid. Like, it reminded me of the cartoons that I got into when I was a kid. It sort of made me feel like that again. So that's why I enjoyed it. Though, though I will also say that, like, uh, in my opinion, um, so... I do think that Friendship is Magic peaked hard in Season 4. Like, very, very hard. Um, season 5 was okay, but I dropped it with Season 6, and I don't think Season 6 is very good. Most of the original writers, and this is still Friendship is Magic, by the way, most of the original writers, I believe I need to do this actually, left after um, season 5. 
to work on the movie and it really shows like season six and beyond like season six does not really feel like the original also it's focused on a very controversial villain redemption i knew i'd get academic level two there um and um season six is only two episodes that i like are gauntlet of fire and saddle row review they're both very good episodes but other than that it's like meh and season seven is surprisingly good in my opinion like, season seven's pretty decent. Like, actually, like, like, pretty decent. I might go for one more hour, uh, streaming. Uh, has some pretty good episodes. It feels very different to the earlier seasons, but it's still not bad. Season eight is, like, meh. Uh, season eight has some bad episodes, actually. But, like, it's got some okay things. And season nine, I think, was a good way to end it. It was half good. It had some not great episodes. But the ending was good. It was pretty good, actually. But yeah, um, I'll also say that, um, the, the end of season nine of Friendship is Magic is the first time I've ever cried at any piece of media, but that's only because I followed that show for so long. But anyway. And yes, of course, when we get Academics Rank 2, it's from a video game, not from studying. Warhawk of the Battlefield, huh? <laughs> Uh, no, I am never sleeping in class ever again. I'm so... I mean, I hope... Are people okay to maybe stay for one more hour? I often find that the last hour of these streams is generally considered the least interesting. But, like, I don't know, it... it uh, I'm sure people are fine with it. I just want to do a few more social links and stuff. I wish I could zoom in on this text message. I wish I could zoom in on this text message right now. But yeah, we can start Bebe now? I think? No, she's not available today. Uh, he's not available today. Nozomi. Wow. It would be really funny if we maxed old couple. The problem with that is old couple are the only ones available for um yep. uh for like holidays though. So maybe I should leave the old couple for now. <laughs> well, crying or screaming in relief is they're better reactions than screaming in your favorite show ending badly, which apparently happened to Game of Thrones. Never really cared for Game of Thrones, but like I've heard I feel so bad for anyone who followed that. <laughs> like I've seen it described that like Game of Thrones ending was so bad that it utterly erased its presence in pop, pop culture. Like, people were obsessed with Game of Thrones for years, and then the moment that that show ended, everybody just forgot about it. It's just really says how bad that ending yeah, was. Yeah, Emiri is... Oh, that's Miss Kano's first name. Anyway, Emiri's really popular with the guys. And I kind of took her away from them, you know? Like, she became my girl before they even had a chance. Yeah, sure she is. Turns out Emiri's a really strict teacher when it comes to grades. At home, though, she's a real sweetheart. I love how her attitude changes when she's with me. <laughs> yeah, good looking I can just imagine. Together, you know? It's like a law of attraction. I'm sure that, you know, um, her attitude changes when she's with you. <laughs> it does change. I think you've misread what it's changing to, but it changes. I feel like you'd like this. Hey, I'm just messing around, man. Don't take me so seriously. Well, Emiri is pretty gorgeous. Oh, hey, he didn't actually like that option. Anyway, what about you? Make any progress with Takeba-san? Oh, wow. This is chip teased even in other social links? That's interesting. Uh, but yeah, um, I, I will say, yeah, Game of Thrones did, uh, did happen because it suffered from the same problem that a lot of manga adaptations do. They got ahead of the source material and had to make stuff up. I feel guilty hogging all the hat. So I'm gonna wish for you to be happy too. I mean, this is a genuinely nice sentiment. It's just from again, Kenji. Because teachers aren't allowed to date students. <laughs> I only told you because I trust you. Oh boy. 
yeah, that was the thing with Game of Thrones. It's like the writers avoided the options that would make sense. Uh, just because, like, they thought, oh, that'd be too predictable. Shoot, look at the time. I'm way behind on my favorite Yeah, ad adapting unfinished works is always just a terrible idea. In my opinion, don't do it. Well, I guess that's because <clears throat> real life is way better than any show right now. Yeah, it's making me hungry, too. Uh, having bad luck in romance is a thing of being a magician arcana. And it also applies to Maruki, because Maruki's counselor is an alternate magician. Oh, it's you. Welcome back. Yep, that reprieve was only temporary. <clears throat> no. Yeah, cool filler arcs is one thing, but if you go too far, you get Naruto, which had like a hundred episodes of filler at the end of its first arc. Like, yeah. first half. Yeah, and they did remake Full Metal Alchemist as a more faithful adaptation later on. HXH, I'm, I'm guessing you're talking about, because I recently learned that it's pronounced Hunter Hunter. I always called it Hunter X Hunter. I do always like this trope when it's like the heroes are doing things that nobody knows about, so they'll never be appreciated for it. It just shows they're doing it for the right reasons. Oh, right. By the way. Yeah, I, um, I love how, um, if you look up the, there's like an anime wiki that tells you which episodes are filler and which aren't. Um, and I love how if you look up Naruto, I believe like the first filler episode is, of course for the ladies, um, the first filler episode, uh, in Naruto is called something like Naruto's Hot Spring Adventure. That's like the most filler sounding episode title of all time. Uh, I wish Hinata was on Team 7 too. Like, honestly, yeah. Hinata was actually a decent character. Uh, like, yeah. Like, she was a super good fighter, despite being, like, really shy and quiet, which was, which was cool. So, like, yeah, I just, I don't know, I, I do wish she had more, like, presence. And especially since her, like, because her and Naruto became canon, like, that should have had more build-up. Uh, so, are there any other ways to raise academics? I guess I can check to see if- I don't know when the academics food places. And I'm just vibing to the music now. Maybe I do need to just use some software in the- in the dorm. I just wish women could be people in Naruto. Um, it's kind of sad that, like, in my opinion, the best written female character in Naruto is Chio, the old lady. Like, she's awesome. Like, I, and I, I love, like, really badass old lady characters. Um, and, like, she's a really cool character. She actually fights, like, her son uh, with puppets, and it's pretty awesome. Uh, wait, doesn't she die, though? I seem to remember that she dies, which sucks. But, like, she's probably, in my opinion, the best female character on Naruto. This is a little cheap. Maybe this isn't going to raise academics very much, but I'll try. Special offer for regulars on Monday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights. Um, wait, your charm is not good enough for that? I guess it needs to be four. Tsunade's okay. Uh, like, I, I like how she, Jiraiya, and Orochimaru were all, like, part of an old friend group. I don't really think they do enough with that, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I'm guessing that Chio does actually die. I haven't seen, like, the anime or manga, but I've, I've seen the games, and I actually really like the Naruto games. 
Oh yeah, she did sacrifice herself to resurrect Gara. Have you heard? Psst, I heard someone's getting bullied, but we're not gonna do anything about it because we're jerks. Yeah, she's oh uh, yeah, Sa oh she's Sasori's grandma. Yeah, yeah. Sasori was interesting. Like I, he was kind of interesting. He's not as funny as Daedara, but but like, yeah, he was. Did did Sasori die in that arc too? I I seem to think seem to remember that he did die. Because like one thing that I did actually kind of like about Naruto right, is right. it wasn't afraid to let characters die when it needed to. Like I was shocked, like shocked when Sasuke actually got to kill Itachi. Because I was just like, wow, a a character succeeding in their life goal in a shonen anime, really? Like, I was actually shocked they let him kill Itachi. But of course, then it turns out that Itachi wasn't the main problem. And and that he has a new target for revenge. Yeah, like, meditation is honestly, like, it's actually healthy. Like, really, people, more people should study meditation. Sasu is the first Akatsuki member to die. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, it's funny because there was a time in my childhood when Akatsuki cloaks were everywhere at conventions, so I just called the Akatsuki the League of Evil Cosplayers. Wait, did Itachi and Jiraiya really die on the same day? In the game, Jiraiya's death happens in a completely different chapter, I think. Edogawa would be an amazing super boss. Like, have him be a super boss like Steven in um, SMT. I'm guessing that Lotus position is what Metatite sits in. Yes, it's sounding like a Scott Pilgrim villain organization is exactly the point. Imagine a symbol. Okay, this is just reminding me um, that, um, uh, like, I really like something I've watched recently that was really good. Um, the. Wonderful story of Henry Sugar. It's like a short that's on Netflix. It's a roll Dahl thing with um uh it has been in a cover batch in it. It's 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 really good. But I mostly liked it because it was based on a short story that I read as a kid. We never sleep in Edogawa's class. Never sleep. So wait, who was saying something about Steven and Emerald? Yeah, like, when you think about it, Naruto did have a really, like, his life is basically suffering. I, I, it makes sense that he doesn't understand romantic love, like, from Hinata at all. What a workout. I gotta teach those first years how to clean up properly. Is this Yukari Link event or story? <laughs> it's story. Yeah, people are talking about how much they hate the third Hokage. Um... I don't really remember, I, I didn't like see his actual arcs, but I always liked him just because of how great he is in Little Karibos A Bridge series, where he's called Joe Hokage. Joe Hokage is the best character in that A Bridge series by far. Hmm? Oh, Steven is a super boss? Uh, yeah, um, that's Steven with a PH, it's spelled differently. Seven, I pretended to take a picture with my cell phone. Oh, here we go. We're introduced to this girl. And she totally freaked out and started crying. It was 
like we caught her red-handed or something. <sighs> you should have seen the look on her face. It was priceless. We started this social link with bitchy bullies and we're... Well, not social link. Well, I guess this is a social link with my whole chat. But anyway, no. We started this, this stream with bitchy bullies and we're ending this stream with bitchy bullies. Wow, that's pathetic. <laughs> I've never laughed so hard in all my life. They're making fun of someone? Bullies. Huh? Did you hear a voice? It's calling me. The voice someone calls. Huh? What voice? I don't hear anything. Oh. Uh, Maki? What's going on? Are you listening to me? Maki, hello? Huh? Are you feeling all right? Yeah, this girl does have a portrait, some people have noticed. Uh, yeah, that implies things. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, what were we talking about? I don't know what the chance Arcana would be, though. They're finally gone. Ugh, I can't stand girls like that. Yeah, see, why Why does everyone think Yukari is a girl like that when she says things like this? It's just like, it's like people think Yukari is like those girls there. I don't know why. I mean, I kind of do know why, but like, it's, uh, it's so dumb. Anyway. Yeah, I'm still streaming. I don't think I'll be streaming for a whole lot longer. I'm kind of trying to do five hours. Uh, but yeah. Oh, look, all couples available again. Uh, only Hidetoshi will go up today. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Maybe let's start Hidetoshi. Not start, let's do more of Hidetoshi. Do I, I, I have Emperor, right? I have Emperor. Okay. So yeah, who's who's up to spend time with yet another very flawed character? Yeah, people in OG just reversed her. All right, Otagiri, I'm counting on you for both our sakes. I understand. If the fandom has a strong opinion on a character, it probably isn't true, unless it's about Nozomi. Yeah, it's fine if people need to call it now. I'll just hope I'll just be doing some more social links. Hey, Odagiri, what was that about? What did he mean by for both our sakes? That kind of sounds like um uh Sean Chip. I know this voice sounds familiar to me. He just wants to create a better school environment, so he simply asked a student fit for the job. Just like how the president asked him to join the student council to help out. What? You can't decide something like that without talking to the president first. I wouldn't be so nonchalant about this if I were you. There was a cigarette found in the boys' bathroom. And in his eyes, it doesn't matter if it's you or me. We're all suspects. That does sound a lot like Sean Chiplock. Quite the exaggeration. I'm not a crime scene investigator. I'm a member of the disciplinary committee. I don't investigate crimes. I punish them, those responsible. Look, you have two choices. Either help out and prove you can be trusted, or refuse and prove you can't. <sighs> People like you and me have to deal with a lot of crap around here, don't we? It's funny how he's got a last name basis with us, but it makes sense. Yeah, it does sound very Reen. Well then, I'll be excusing myself. Hey! Don't ignore me! You kiss ass! Quest to find the smoker by aggressively interrogating the entire school. Yes, that's gonna be a subplot in this social link for a while. Student council members shouldn't be fighting like this, should they? I better go tell the president! And then Mitsuru executed everyone. The end. 
Oh yeah, I seem to remember that Hidetoshi eventually. I mean, that's kind of a spoiler, but yeah, we'll we'll see later on. Welcome back. And uh, right, I haven't really had a lot of new dialogue here. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, that's not good. It's part of why I don't want to go to a certain area of Tokyo in real life. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Like, I mean, I feel like I'd ignore bullying if it was happening to me, but if it was happening to someone else, I'd report it. Yeah, yeah, he does. Hidetoshi does act like an ace attorney prosecutor, at least right now. I wonder if there's any new recordings in the recording room, come to think of it. No new recordings, okay. Uh, so... Why is there a double as... I'm glad I noticed that. I'm glad I noticed that. We have Akihiko available. I'm very glad I noticed that. <laughs> Extremely glad I noticed that. So, where is he? Unless he's at the station. He's probably at the station? Probably? Oh, he doesn't look like he's here. Oh, I think he is at the station. Uh, there he is, okay. Glad I didn't miss this. Yes. Yep, it's indeed Aki time. I've gotten a lot of my edge back since I've been able to focus on my training. I've been meaning to thank you for that. <laughs> You've really stepped up as our leader, so tonight's on me. You've got enough responsibility as it is. So you've got talent and an appetite. I think you'd make a pretty good athlete. Just don't push yourself too hard. Things will get easier with experience. Yeah, I might not talk for a lot of these because these are totally new and I want to take them in myself. And if you need anything, let me know. I'll do whatever I can to help. Uh, excuse me. Oh, I knew it! You're Sonata-san from Gekukon High! I heard you lived in Iwatodai, but wow, I never thought I'd run into you here. Ooh, we're big fans of yours. Please, can I get a picture with you? Uh, don't let them do it because then they'll post it all over their Facebook still existed in 2009, right? They'll post it all over their Facebook and say, this is my boyfriend, lol. I'm busy, and I don't like having my picture taken. I kept hearing rumors that you were injured. Uh, are you okay now? Akihiko doesn't like having his picture taken. It drains his powers. Do you need any help? I is there anything I can bring you? <laughs> oh no. Who, who do you think that is? You know. Not sure. Celebrity maybe? Wanna go see? Akihiko needs some kind of anti-fangirl shield. Let's go. this problem at school but I didn't think it happened out here too again you should invest in an anti fangirl shield it's probably because of those interviews or the rumors online I've gotten all kinds of attention as I've kept up my winning streak oh this is interesting though because we didn't really get much of an indicator of this in the original like that he's legit famous even outside of school <laughs> you could say that again I'm not some panda in a zoo for everyone to gawk at. <laughs> Someone give this man some repellent. That just reminds me of... The <laughs> there's this what, there's this pretty good line in Friends where um, Joey like basically wants this one woman to not be attracted to him because he wants her to be his roommate. And then he goes to Ross and Chandler and says, Wait a minute, you two repel women all the time! All I want is to be as strong as I can. I want to train hard and feel real pride in my strength. But all I ever seem to get is more trouble. Alright, 
Looks like they've given up. Akiko probably would say I've been waiting for this in a boxing match. Let's sit out to eat. For real this time. <laughs> yes, Akiko needs one of those like moustache glasses disguises. Hey, don't be like that. I know a place that'd be perfect for us, girl. Oh, okay. This is going in a different direction now. Please, just leave us alone. We're not interested. One drink. That's all we're asking. Come on. It'll be fun. We said no, okay? Hey. Leave them alone. You don't want the police to get involved, do you? Huh? Who the hell are you? What? You want to call the cops? Quit trying to act like a big man, you little punk. Well, we actually know a cop personally, so, uh, yeah, you're kind of screwed. Yeah, time for you to piss off. You piece of... Hold up. You got some slick moves. I bet you know how to fight, am I right? That sounds like Patrick Sites, and it sounds like a Yakuza character. So what if I do? How about you and I go a few rounds? If you ain't too busy, there's a spot around back. Whenever I see guys who think they're hot shit, all I want to do is put them in their place. Funny, that's exactly what I'm thinking about you right now. I bet a lot of people call you a tough guy. So how about we put it to the test? What, is he scared now? <laughs> See? I told you. Nothing but trouble. Stay here. I'll be done in a minute. <laughs> what? You think you're gonna beat me just like that? And Akihiko just punch out speedruns this guy. But don't worry. I won't go all out against an amateur. It's gotta be a fair fight. I wouldn't be surprised if Yuri Lowenthal was one of the thugs. Let's beat it. I told you, officer. They were the ones antagonizing us. And I told you we'll hear all about it down at the station. And that sounds like you were Lowenthal to me. You're high school students, aren't you? We'll need your contact information to notify your parents about this. Well, that's awkward because both our parents are dead. If I could butt in. Yeah, like I said, we owe a we know a police officer personally. And Kurosawa son. I'll handle these two. I've already cleared it with the brass. Yeah, I love that blindfolded super punch out run. I don't know what's going on here, but you better not be Like that is one of my favorite AGDQ runs of all time. We get a report from two ladies saying you were attacked by a group of punks. There were punks there, they just left. They wanted to test my strength. I was just giving them what they wanted. In the middle of a public street? You really need to think things through. I just realized the sheer irony of Kurosawa being involved in Akihiko's Link episodes because of the voice actor thing. Listen, I'm an officer of the law. I don't care who you are. Anyone who disturbs the peace is gonna have to deal with me. As you can see, your friend here is a bit of a hothead. I know it won't be easy, but try and keep an eye on him, would you? Those are some bold words. Good thing. My arm's healed, and we've got way more dependable people now. There's no better time to test my strength. Yeah, it is good that Kurosawa gets a little more relevance than just being a shop guy. Especially now that we have someone like you. We really lucked out on that one. So I'm gonna keep honing my skills. That way, I can put down anyone I face with my own two hands. <laughs> you really haven't changed at all. Yeah, I do wonder what a Kurosawa social link would be like. In any case, don't get in over your heads. 
I have a hunch the guys you ran into were from a gang that's been active around here recently. Uh, is this foreshadowing for something that happens later? The bats and knives thing? Just be careful. You don't want to get on their bad side. Because once you're on it, you'll never get off. Alright, it's late. You better head on home. So much for eating out. It's been non-stop interruptions all night. <sighs> Kurosawa-san's right, though. We should probably head home. Sorry about this. I'll treat you some other time. We will have... I'm gonna do some jogging on the way back. You wanna join? We will have protein another time. Sure! I guess. It's dark, so watch out for cars. And like a dragon flashbacks again. I'm gonna run ahead. You just follow at your own pace. <laughs> just completely just dashes off. I ran back to the dorm. And I collapsed. Okay, stat boost is nice. Stat boost is very nice. And okay, I think I'll just be going for another 30 more minutes. I just want to see, um... I'm actually getting reasonably close to the next full moon. Although, if it starts getting a little plot heavy, I'll probably have to call it. Because, like, yeah, we're starting to get pretty close to Fuka's arc, I think. Yes, the start of another, uh, big thing. Yeah, honestly, I do actually think that Kaspar and Akihiko are pretty similar. Kaspar from Three Houses. Kaspar's dumber, though. Kaspar's a little bit like, kind of like, exaggerated spin off Akihiko. Hey, did you hear about that girl in 2E? Oh, right, yeah, we are getting into this, aren't we? Yeah, I heard they have no idea what happened. Oh my god, isn't it so bizarre? Uh, yeah, so party members, male party members, are not social links for the male protagonist. You'd have to wait for the female protagonist in Portable to, to have them. Man, everyone's talking about it. People sure got a lot of time on their hands. Yep, people do indeed have a lot of time on their hands to be talking about, you know, students showing up passed out in front of school. Yeah, because that's totally trivial. Oh wow, you have no option to confirm. <laughs> what, you think you're one of them cool city slickers? Come on, you gotta keep up with stuff like this. The girl from 2E went missing while she was out late last night. Yeah, the legendary Junpei moment is coming. And this morning, they found her lying in front of the school gate. Uh, so maybe I should end this stream soon, because I kind of rather this happen next stream. Nobody knows what happened. And supposedly, she's still unconscious. Morning! Yo, Yukata. Man, this is a tough case. Even for Junpei Yori, ace detective. And there's the line! There's the line! <laughs> ace detective? You're so dumb. Hmm. <laughs> More like... Stupe, ace defective. And there's that line. Where'd that come from? Actually, now that I think about it, I haven't seen you all morning. Where you been? I was talking to the teacher. And that girl they found? I saw her yesterday on my way back from practice. She seemed just fine then. Huh. The plot thickens. Yeah, so, like, the the Ace Detective line is weird, though, because according to spin-offs, it was actually, like, a catchphrase that was not really... Wow, it was that line that got you into Persona, that's cool. It was actually, like, a catchphrase that was not translated, like... Like... Ace Detective at the fleet. <laughs> hmm. Uh, like, anyway, anyway, I I'll go into it more in more detail another time, but, like, Junpei originally had a different, like, catchphrase, and it wasn't translated consistently, and it didn't really matter much in Persona 3 itself, but in spin-offs, it mattered quite a lot. In spin-offs, they kind of screwed up by translating it as Ace Detective, but anyway. Hope no one sends any rumors about you. Well, yeah. Thankfully, you're not in Persona 2. Uh, Yuko's not gonna rank up. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. 
yeah, he's not going to be able to compete with Naoto. I mean, I, I don't want to say it, but I think he can compete with Akechi, but um, not Naoto. Uh, anyway, though, so... Uh, do you have something new to say? All right, that's no, that's not the Mitsuru. The Mits that's the Mitsuru simp. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, I just like I don't want to launch right into the Fuka arc now, but like, I do just kind of want to do like, just uh like a thing this afternoon, like for example, get Yuko up to another rank. Unfortunately, we just have to do a generic spend time scene here, which is a shame, because I do kind of like Yuko. So, we'll grow stronger soon, we'll grow stronger soon. Yes, relationship will grow stronger soon, that's good. Uh, they didn't do that in the original Persona 3, by the way. You were not told when you were ready for the next rank up, and that could be a pain. That could be a huge pain sometimes. Uh, I'm not going to start Chihiro today because I don't really want to start a social link right at the end of a stream. Oh, welcome back. I'd rather start it, like, close to... Another one. Sorry. Um, people aren't going to Tartarus today, so... I'm Good guessing we are pretty much in the midst of plot right now. So dance, if you go ahead. Tends to enhance other senses. That doesn't sound ominous at all. Yeah, will Chihiro will be soon. <laughs> she has a bad feeling right now. She doesn't have a good feeling like uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. Okay, good. Phew. Lucky color is red, not blue. No my sweet passion here. Try sticking your thumbs up all day long. That sounds a little um weird, but uh. Unbelievable! <laughs> All right. has returned. What? <laughs> I would pay to hear Junpei singing lullabies. Just saying, I would really pay serious money for that. <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, that would be pretty scary, too. Uh, Featherman is Sundays. Featherman is on Sundays. Is the roof... Um, are the tomatoes done? Oh, from the... Yeah, that's a long time. Okay, let me just check the calendar. 30th. Okay, so soon it's going to be a week until the full moon. Uh, yeah, that's probably going to be... Oh, in two days? Okay, right, we're getting close to that. Okay, then. That Junpei scene. In that case... In that case... Although I probably do want to go to... Hmm... I hope there's time to go to Tartarus before the full moon. There probably will be. We can't go to Tartarus tonight anyway, so... Right. Uh, in that case... Uh, if we're getting into, like, all of the Fuka plot like, right, right now, I think it's going to be best to leave that for next stream. So I said I was going to go for another hour. I think I will end this stream now, because next time will be the whole Fuka plot. So... I'm going to save that for next time. So I hope you've all enjoyed this. This was mostly an Akihiko focused stream um, in more ways than one. But um, yeah, we got some social links. Let's go over our uh, social links that we've we've done this part. So we've got Magician to 5, Emperor to 3, Hierophant to 8, Chariot 3, Hermit 4, Strength 3. I want that higher. Moon, Moon is 2. I forgot Moon was 2. Uh, but I feel like Chariot's too low. And, uh, yeah. Actually, I like the animation on this. That's cool. Uh, but, 
yeah, so thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next stream where we hopefully do the next full moon and get a new party member. So, I'll see you all then. For now, Big Clinky out. <laughs>